That's yes. where we last left off. Well, we had my note. We had and returned our things. Uh, we had gotten our payment and went and yeah. got patched up. Yeah, you're in the medical tent, chilling out. But you're all back up to uh, full full HP again, guys. You've spent yeah, a nice I... uh, nice few days with the rest and relaxation, with all the amenities that the Sadorovich Inn can offer, which is mainly uh, radiated rat meat, year year old open vodka. Yeah, normal stuff. Cat grease. Cat grease. Cat and, grease. Yeah. Uh, and one morning as you're waking up uh, in your recovery, you are uh, excited to see your friend, Borea Brick, comes back in to the, the tent. Borea, where did you go? You missed out on all the fun. Oh, I, I had some, uh, I had some leads, some names, people I thought, you know, thought I might know on this end of the, of the wall, and I wanted to check up on that. Uh, how'd you guys do with uh, the uh, cave troll? I don't want to talk about it. I kind of heard he was a bit of an asshole. Uh, a bit. Our friend Bob. We are. I think he's talking about Sidrovich. Oh, that's Keith Troll. Yes. <clears throat> well, we got electrocuted and kidnapped and shot and bitten uh, for like 500 rubles, so it's it's a good time. At least we killed a few dogs, you know, so the day didn't go all the waste. I just sort of like hand a skewer of questionable meat towards Boria. You want some? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that you realize that stuff is just all over the place here, right? Like, he probably got you to, uh, you know, go kill some animals and give him almost all the meat for nothing, right? Well, there was a little more to it. The dog thing was, yeah, it was pretty bullshit. But we also recovered an artifact. I, I mean, you know, talking to other people here, you know. Seems like he, he will just let you starve if he can. Not really surprising in the slightest after what we went through. Uh, mm. so, some of the rumors I've gotten is that he might be one of the worst people to take jobs from <laughs> in the zone. He's been accommodating enough to get into here and get our feet wet, but I think you are right. We are not going to earn our way back out of the zone if we stick around here. We need to get out as soon as possible, is what I say. Forget this place and just keep moving. Well, as you guys are Move talking, there. and you are uh, saying these things, <laughs> which are <laughs> absolutely crazy, <laughs> uh, one, <laughs> one of the uh, other people who is uh, laying in a bed next to you guys, who's been you know, recovering alongside you from probably a similar bullshit job that almost claimed his life for like the equivalent of ten dollars sits up and says if you want better jobs there's a place I heard of called the garbage it's just it's just north of here apparently and they say there's artifacts everywhere better artifacts than the ones you're going to find here better artifacts and more well, sign me up. Sounds too good to be true. Where is this place? North. Oh, gee, thanks. <laughs> just just go north. Vaguely north. Well, if you have a map of uh, just sort of the area, you can see there's uh, there's sort of a, a northern checkpoint on your map. Dinkers, and you can yeah, see... Uh, I do see. You can see past that there there is some... Uh, <laughs> You know, <coughs> some kind of uh, it, it doesn't show the entire thing, but you can see where it sort of opens up into a wider area, and there's kind of a, a valley where there seems to be uh, a lot of hills or something on your topo map. You're not sure exactly what they are, but there's mounds of something that that are changing. They're they're shown the elevation's shown on the, on the map. 
doesn't say what exactly they are. They don't look like hills, but they look like something. Something kind of piled up. What well, the hell do you think it is? There definitely is something up there. What do you know about the garbage, man? Uh, they say it's a very radioactive place. They say there's bandits, mutants. They say there's a couple of places where stalkers have little bases and you can rest there or, or trade. And they also say there's these weird military guys who have a, a checkpoint there as well. Oh, we have to rest. But they're not like the military guys that shoot you when you come into the zone. Well, I suppose that's a comforting thought. <laughs> so they're like some sort of paramilitary group, is what you're saying. Something uh, like that. All right, all right. I, I think they're probably just the more agreeable military. <laughs> the more agreeable. <laughs> So what the hell do we do then? Think you've been basically point man this whole thing. Any uh, input or uh, do we let the Irishman lead for a change? Well, <laughs> unless Boria found something when he was doing his jobs, the garbage seems like the only lead we have. Hey, going, going deeper is definitely uh, the right call. That's what we do. Do we want to try to track down a Geiger counter or something? If it's as irradiated as they're saying, plus, you know, this is the Chernobyl exclusion zone. There's Could radiation around. Idea. The artifacts are radioactive. It'd be nice to have a way to not stumble into it. How much the did only... you get for the job? 500 rubles? At least, yeah. but everybody got uh, 125 each, remember? <clears throat> Might be able to. I don't know how much one costs. Maybe trade for one. What the hell do we have? I to bet trade? it will cost just one more job. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, seems like the way to go. If we can find a way north, not through that tunnel, that is probably a good idea. You mean not having to see uh, the military guys hanging out in the zone here? Yeah. There's a guard checkpoint at a fallen rail bridge. There's a, an elevated rail track that runs east-west, just north of here. And there's a military checkpoint there. Uh, you can get around them through a tunnel that is full of electro anomalies. And uh, we got a little scorched going through there last time. Yeah, that sounds like that would suck. Maybe we can find another way across the embankment. Well, the track. I, I could take a few guesses oh. as to why those guys are there. Don't ask me how I know, but uh, there's no sanctioned checkpoints, you know, that far in. So they're robbing people. <clears throat> yeah, pr probably. That... That's what I would be doing if I were them. There's a reason we tried to avoid them last time. And look how that went. And look on the bright side. If you get attacked by anything, they'll probably kill it for you. If you're within sight, at least. Because <laughs> they don't want it coming for them. Hmm. Just don't get caught in the crossfire. Oh. oh, yeah. They they probably wouldn't mind crossfiring people who just paid them. So what? We lure a few of these mutants over there, maybe distract them, shoot a few in the back of the head, who knows, get a rifle out of it, maybe a shotgun, whatever they have, and get the hell across that... Uh, the rail bridge. 
We did hear shooting coming from those warehouses near the grain elevator, and we bumped into those bandits on the way out. <sighs> Could always try and just traverse the tracks. There's got to be a way to sneak around. There could be. <clears throat> Question is, do we wait till, night f till nightfall, or do we do it now? Uh, probably do it now, because them anomalies are kind of harder to see in the dark. Hey, that is true. I like the so idea so of trying be. to make them thin each other out. Somehow. Could be, could be a good idea that... And again, it was my idea, so... Uh, if, if you got a good way to uh, get horrible zone mutants to uh, do your bidding, please be my guest. That sounds amazing. Yeah, they, we get them pissed off at us. We run for our lives. They uh, follow us to the checkpoint and uh, they go after the military instead because what's another human but another meal? Well, if you can outrun them. Dogs run a lot faster than I do. <laughs> it well, it yeah, might be but... worth scoping them out first. You know, if they're all, uh, you know, if they got a machine gun emplacement or something over there, then, you know, that, that whole thing's going to be a joke. They're going to cut anything to ribbons. Has anyone seen the checkpoint? No, we skirted around it last time. Uh, at least at least one or two of us should probably go get eyes on that thing. Uh, who's up for a hike? Fuck it, I oh, got I'll nothing go. better to do. At the very least, we could get back up to those elevators and use that as sort of a base of operations to figure out where we're going to go from there. Assuming there's Ooh. nobody there to clean out first. Well, true. Sounds like a plan. Lead on, friend. So who's going to the <clears throat> the checkpoint location? I think first we're just going to head up to the elevator. So like, all you guys are going, or is it just... Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Looks that way. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all righty. So you all pack up your, uh, your gear, and mm -hmm. you head out of the Beautiful little uh, you know, medical building, shack, whatever it is at this point. Antonov, bring the artifact stick. Bring the artifact <laughs> stick. <laughs> the poor Mosin can't take anymore. This, I look for a stick in the corner, and yeah, I'll I'll pick that up. There you go. <laughs> well, you that guys... helped us too much to let go. guys head out to the green elevator where you killed the dogs. You make it back out onto the road. There's uh, nothing too different from before. Our, uh, the, all the anomalies are kind of in the same spot. Uh, you don't really have to worry about any crazy traversing. And you guys make it back down the road to where those bandits were sitting and they are not there. You haven't seen any mutants or anything. And you make it up to the old little farmstead thing with the grain elevators. And, uh, yeah, everything's as you left it before. And I love uh, walks I... that don't involve gunfire. <laughs> well, th thank the dice gods for good random encounters. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Meaning none. <clears throat> Can I climb up the grain elevator to see the uh, surrounding area better? Uh, yep, yep, yep. You can do that. Uh, so you, you go up some rickety, rusty ass stairs, and uh, there's a little ladder that goes up to a grain elevator. That's you know that's 
about 10 or 15 feet higher than the, the roof of the building. While he's looking around, I'm just going to keep awares of our surroundings down here on the ground. Okay. I'm going to roll a spot check. All right, go for it, buddy. Fifteen. Uh, yeah, you don't see anything uh, threatening or out of the ordinary. Just the normal, you know, uh, spine bending anomalies just showing out in the ground. That's that's about it. <laughs> uh, and can I see the to, checkpoint at all? Yeah, I was gonna say you get from the. To, you get up to the top, and uh, you you can kind of see the checkpoint from where you're at. Uh, you can't see the whole thing uh, just because of the way the angle is. Uh, it's kind of blocked, but you can see where there is a gap. Uh, with that, there's a bridge going overhead. It's kind of collapsed, and you can see there's a, a couple of vehicles that look kind of old and just deserted sitting there. And you can see that there is some remnants that there, a camp was there at one time. And that's about it. You don't see any people or anything. All right. I'm going to climb back down and let them know I don't see anybody. Are we clear? I don't see anyone over there. No, I didn't get a very good view of everything, but, you know, it looks empty. Uh, hey, maybe someone ahead of us that would be nice let's uh, i don't think god's doing us any favors but uh i don't think there's a god in this place oh there is <laughs> i think he is very angry <laughs> he is an unjust and mean god <laughs> he doesn't like us <laughs> all right let's move up and check it out shall we uh, so you guys uh, get back onto the road and approach from that way, or uh, how are y'all doing it? Did you uh, notice, uh, Corlin, any particular mm -hmm. good route, or do we just go up the front door? Uh, um, is, is there any way to really tell? Does the front door look uh, more well-traveled than others? You know, there's not like an obvious footpath cut through the grass. Uh no, uh, there's some trees blocking. Like, there's just some some trees in between you and the little checkpoint. But it, it seems most people are just taking the road. If they're uh, that way at all. Yeah, I I think I'd go where other people tread. You know, up until we find more uh, piles of gore. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's plan. probably a good plan. Oh, front door it is. Sound good? Yeah, okay. sounds, good. sounds good to me. All right, you All guys right. make your way. It's a few hundred feet uh, along the road up to the uh, little. It's a destroyed bridge that seems to have just fallen down of its own accord. You see, there's a there are a few abandoned vehicles, and as you get closer, uh, it looks completely deserted. Well, if it looks deserted, let's treat it like it is deserted. <laughs> uh, you, you Do see we all want to roll a spot check and, and listen? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Roll, yeah. roll them up, boys. I'm going to roll a search check just to see if I can find any loot. I will assist with the look and or listen. So whoever wants the bonus, I'll assist you. Uh, I'll do the spot. 21. Right. And yeah, yeah, I'll help him too because I got a shitty bonus. I find nothing apparently. <laughs> Four. Guess I'll I do guess... the listen check then. Looks like I'm joining. Uh, looks like I guess. So since I failed the search, I guess should, would I be able to join in on the spotting and listening, or either of the two? 
Uh, you were occupied with the search while yeah. the other thing was. That's yeah, true. That's okay. At the same time, that's the thing, so. Right, right. Yeah. So whoever I assisted, throw the plus two onto your roll. Uh, so, yeah, you guys don't see any signs of life here at all. Uh, you see nothing out of the ordinary for where you're at. I mean, uh, no big fire roaring. Nope, no fire roaring, nothing. You do see that there, there are a couple of burn barrels in places where people have obviously been sleeping and, and things like that. There's uh, some old crates that are empty. Uh, this was at one time somebody's little home. They were they were chilling here, but it does not look like they're here now. Mm. Well, let's keep going then. Oh yeah, yeah no, it, it, you see uh, Mr. Wrench searching through stuff, and he finds nothing. Tipping over yeah. crates and. Looking in vehicles, there there is nothing, which doesn't surprise you because this is a this looks like it's a highly traveled area, and anything that was worth anything probably would have been, you know, stripped a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Well, it looks like our military friends have moved on. Forge ahead and make sure they didn't leave us any landmines. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just uh going past the uh the point then up the road yeah we'll move on through okay <clears throat> all righty you guys move up to uh the section of the road that looks kind of familiar where you met your friend uh, Bob last time. And you can see that uh, it looks like they're still home. And it looks like there's uh, something else cooking today. You can hear them uh, chatting and talking. And you can hear uh, from the road, you can hear that they're playing uh, harmonicas and guitars, you know. The normal pang of jealousy. <laughs> Things you can never do, you know. <laughs> Let's keep our distance. Yeah, Borea, yeah. we got to speak to these fine gentlemen the other day while you we were away. They feel about the same way as you do about our friend Sidorovich. Felt so strongly about it that they tied us all up and interrogated us. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Uh, threatened, uh, they also threatened to kill the Irishman, but uh, not so much a loss. You know, so Things I've heard, part of me wonders if uh, the mortality rate in here isn't partially just that one guy's fault. Yeah. I'll give credence to that. It very well could be. <laughs> Considering our little bread run and how it went, I wouldn't be surprised. Shit, if that's the case, I'm surprised he hasn't been part of that mortality rate. That's what happens when you have a bunker. <laughs> yeah, but you can get inside the bunker. Hey, Sidrovich, uh, let me in. I've come to trade shit. Pow, he's dead. I don't imagine your chances of leaving the bunker after that would be too high either. Eh, I was never going to leave the zone anyway. That's the attitude. One <laughs> 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 way trip. That's how you go far in this place. <laughs> well, yeah, go go far. Become one with the soil here. Go far in every direction. Rapidly yeah, and as unexpectedly. You're, as you're really far. <laughs> well, why am I suddenly spitting? Become a permanent <laughs> resident of the power plant. <laughs> there you go. Well, you guys keep progressing and... Uh, Give a wide berth to your your friends from the other day, and as you're walking down the road, you see common sights of abandoned vehicles, you know, the random anomaly here and there, which you easily avoid with your handy dandy detector. Okay, uh, and you keep moving until you come up to a old abandoned farmstead. 
which is on the east side of the road, just a few hundred meters past your your the place your friends were chilling at, <clears throat> where Bob was. And inside of the farmhouse, you can see that there is a uh, a fire. There's smoke coming out of the little uh, chimney. Looks like it's occupied. We might want to. We yeah. can investigate. We want to investigate. My first instinct was to was to move. Yeah. To yeah. Notice. Yeah. So see if we can make it to that garbage without uh, leveling our guns at a. Uh... Yeah, another thing that walks on two legs. Well, I mean, that doesn't give us a whole lot of options in the zone, because apparently there's a lot of things that walk on two legs that aren't human. All the same, I don't think I want to meet any of them right this second. Yeah, I feel that, that one. All right. We move then. All right, you guys just go past without disturbing the homeowner <laughs> owner or the, yeah the renter i guess the squatter <laughs> the squatter uh, sidrovich squatter. properties yes <laughs> sidrovich llc <laughs> properties llc Sid sidrovich zone realtors <laughs> <laughs> oh you're you home. one i had a good deal for you today <laughs> marked one would you like to rent a timeshare <laughs> His own timeshares. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sure. Sure. But you're trying to get him to fix your sink. Yeah. Perhaps a condo. Sidorovich, I broke my sink. Mark one, what the hell? Mark one, what the hell? I just replaced your sink last week. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is oh. covered under the planner's agreement. Just oh. wash your hands with oh, vodka. Sure. That I am selling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> selling, you say? <laughs> uh, well, you guys go past and... Uh... You uh, make it a couple hundred more meters past the that house you saw with the, the smoke coming out the chimney. I'm looking back to make sure no, nobody's running out. Good call. Uh, yep, yeah, no, no one is coming behind you. <laughs> no one's running out. <laughs> You're all <coughs> Ilya down. He's done. I wish. Lost to the zone. I'm... Oh, whoopsie daisy, here I go. <laughs> Reload a previous save. <laughs> F9, F9, F9. <laughs> what, uh, you guys, uh, should roll spot checks. Uh oh. Okay. Why do I hear boss music? Roll the <laughs> <sighs> Yay, 21. Ooh. 20, 20, 28. We're just getting in the 20s right now. I can see God. <laughs> I, I think <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> what was that? You need like 45 for that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so Roll. you guys are all able to see, uh, except for uh, Corlin. You don't see it. Your Irish eyes are diminished from years of drinking uh, <laughs> fucking yeah. shine from the bathtub. He's just <laughs> scratching really heavy at his eyes right now. Like, <sighs> What's up uh, there, Blur? <laughs> you see, in, in a, an area with some, some rocky outcroppings, uh, the, uh, no, it's like nor due north of your position on the east side of the road. Uh, you see that there's a couple of uh, things you now know as blind dogs, just kind of sniffing <sighs> the air and uh, walking uh, walking around. Son of a bitch! Oh, look, more of our f delicious friends. 
Oh. You ate their friends. They're going to eat you. <laughs> yeah, they Touch already tried that one well. once. Uh, and they are sniffing the They air. all fall to hardball. They, they do not seem to uh, notice you just yet. Uh, quickly, oh, everyone, stink less. Stink less, people. <laughs> <laughs> How far out are they? Uh, they're about 200 feet. <clears throat> well, does it look like there's any way to? Is there any maneuvering room to try and avoid uh, them, or is it just like we're gonna so have to deal on, with this problem? As you're coming up, you can see that on the west side of the road, there seems to be a rock wall going up. And if you're going to follow the road, uh, you're going to be forced to be pretty close to them. Do we want to? It's a pretty uh, narrow uh, pass through here. Gotcha. Well, looks like we're going to have to deal with this. I was going to say, we're we're whispering uh, and not getting attacked, so we got got a few moments. Are there anything, like any rocks nearby to jump up on or car roofs? Then we could all just level our guns at them and then, you know, whistle them over or something. I like the way this one thinks. Uh, there, there. I mean, there's, there's not really anything to jump up on. There's, there's, uh, <clears throat> the rocks where the dogs are, are, are at. You could, if you could run up to those and get up on them. All right. Well, Boria, you and I have rifles. Yep. Try to take a shot at them. Um, or like, get your hugging arms ready. Get your something hugging. I never yeah. asked. Uh, never asked when actually writing the character up. I'm going to assume my SKS has the bayonet. Uh, yeah, probably, probably, yeah. I'll, I'll go ahead and affix that bayonet. It's not Daisy where you get one. You, you spawn one without it. Right. <laughs> Standards without. <laughs> got to it's more it. difficult to remove than anything. That comes separately. <laughs> I'm going to unholster my pistol. Yeah. I'll ready my firearm as well. I'm going to crouch and take aim with the bows. Do the same. How many dogs are there? Uh, You guys just see two. Two. Okay. Well, that makes it easy. Border, do you want to go for the one on the left and I'll go for the one on the right? Sounds reasonable. All righty. If everyone is ready, I'll take a shot. Do it. I nod. Oh boy, Just roll, roll the attack roll. Yep. No initiatives. Ah, uh, no, you guys can just roll. It's fine. Cool. Once the puffers are summoned, you can roll the initiative. Plus. So it's 1d20 plus 2, right? Yeah. Uh, how far out did you say they are? About 200 feet. 200 feet? Yeah. Or 200 yards? 200 oh, wait. Feet, so that's I guess all the ranges are in feet, aren't they? Uh... Uh, yeah, generally. Yeah, I think so in the book, yeah. Okay, so the range on mine is 120. So how do we roll it with, because you said at, at certain... The, the, certain pen, the penalties are his job. Oh, they're all his, so we don't have to worry about it. Okay. <clears throat> all right, so I'm going to roll my attack roll, which is 12. Oof. Hey, not 20. <laughs> there you go. Nice. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the nugger does not, does not provide, but the, uh, the, the glorious SKS does. And uh, you can roll for damage on the puffer. <laughs> we really messed this thing up in that anomaly. Yeah, I was going to say, after uh, <laughs> doing all you did. Yeah. Bullet just kind of slides of out of the barrel. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the you see the uh, the dog that Borja shot, its, uh, its head just explodes. <laughs> and uh, drops to the ground. The other dog kind of looks over and uh, Makes a little whimper before uh, getting, <laughs> getting mad and beginning to charge. All right, so if y'all want to roll initiative to uh, be the the lucky man who gets to slay the last pupperino, uh, charging you fifteen one d twenty plus whatever. Your, yeah, plus, uh, the initiative modifier. It's there by your um, okay. I don't generally. It's going to be Dex mod. Generally, yeah. unless you have some magical feats. In that case, 
17. Let's see. So that's 1d20 uh, plus 2? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Is for me, too. So 17 on me. Wait, wait, uh... Is it the abilities thing? It's been a while. Yeah, ability modifier. Right. Initiative yeah. modifier, so yeah. dex modifier three. So it's three. There you go. Seventeen. Nice. Right. Yeah. So we're tied. And there you go. Three way tie for first. All right. So I guess that means I'm running up next to Rick <laughs> while Dinka fucks with his nugget. <laughs> I got I'm a just, seventeen as well. All three of us did. I'm just sitting in the back. Sucking my thumb. <laughs> well, since I rolled a tie, we'll just, yeah, modifier, so we'll just 70. let the the yeah, we'll just go in line. So it'd be Bory, Dinkers, and then Kevin. Cool. We'll just go in okay. line, but it all happens at the same time. We'll just, it's, right. Yeah, you know. uh, I'll I'll keep my gun trained. I'll just uh, ready to shoot it when it gets closer. Okay. All right. And uh, I'll yo, I'm letting them get closer. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. All right, Dinkers. He's uh he's about a hundred feet out from you. What are you doing? I'm gonna rack around and try again. <clears throat> One D twenty plus two. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, that anomaly fucked up your gun. <laughs> you've, you've, my lost, are you've lost your papa's nugger. It's done. <laughs> yeah. Roll for an gunsmith. Yeah, we're gonna gunsmith check on that. <clears throat> and, <laughs> Roll yeah. for grunsmith. Dink, Dinka shoots and uh, misses again. And uh, it is now the Kevin. The Kevin. The Kevin. <laughs> you wish, uh, yeah, you, you are going to have a hard time hitting it with the pistol. But uh, All right. you can try. So or, you, or you can hold till it gets closer like I'm doing. Uh, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to hold and be like support. So if Ricky taps it and then I tap it. Okay, that works. Uh, then, uh, Corlin, what are you doing, buddy? Uh, just going to wait till it's in range. Okay. And the rain. Lands. What are you doing? Buddy? Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm going to, I'm going, I'm just going to, I'm going to try and take a shot at it. See if I can get it. Okay. Be the hero we need. Be the hero we need. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, I, I want shoot dog. I shoot dog. You got the, you got the one in twenty chances, but just fucking. There you go. Auto -hitting, I'm gonna so. get. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Can that even go in? <laughs> All right. Fucking. Um. What was it? Mod. What? It's one d twenty plus your initiative mod, which is okay. in no, the box deck. below your HP. It's your it's the attack. No, I'm full of garbage. Don't listen to me. One d twenty plus. What the hell is my attack? It's, it's under your weapon. Yeah, it's, it's in your weapon. Thanks. Your your base attack plus your deck. Oh, I I think pretty much all of you've got zero base yes, attack I, bonus. I think you so all do. It's just going to be plus yeah. dex mod. The three. So yeah, yeah okay, for so me two, anyway. Two for me. So that's two. It's two. So it'd just be plus two. Then one d twenty yeah. plus two. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I missed. Oh <laughs> well, yeah, you Reasonable see, uh, you see uh, uh, either fire and uh, not he, he misses, and the uh, the pupper is closed of a bit more distance, and uh, yeah, he he will be ready to attack soon, and then it is back to. Boria. Uh, how much is the pupper closed? Uh, he has closed 60 feet, so he's about 40 feet from you. Oh, okay. well, ready shot. I, I will take the ready shot. There you go. Yay, no penalty gunfire. There you go. Okay, twenty-one, and the uh, the the pupper does get hit by that. And and yeah, they, you see a round land on the dog, and he kind of whimpers and keeps uh, keeps running. 
and it is up to Dinker to solve the dog problem once and for all. Let's shoot try it again. Dinka, shoot him. Firing <laughs> vaguely in the direction of the dog. <laughs> Seven. Oh, yeah. uh, the dog does not get hit by the nugger yet again. I think you, fu you fucked up the heading on the, uh, on the stock. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they call these garbage rods for a reason. Yeah, it's legit. <laughs> uh, sticking, sticking it in that anomaly made it worse, I think. And Kevin is uh, up to bat. Alrighty. So 1d20 plus 3 for the Yeastle. For the clutch. Twenty one. Right. Nice. Yeah, Kevin lines up a beautiful shot, which does hit the pupper. Roll for damage. Okay. Hold on. Uh, 2d6? Yeah. Okay. No plus anything? Nope. No. 2d6. All right. Straight 2d6. Eight? Uh, yep, the... the uh... The dog does manage to go down, and uh, he, oh, okay. That was interesting. Whoa, Discord broke. Yeah, we, we lost you for a second. Uh, Thinking no. The dog, <laughs> the dog does go down, and uh, he uh, he drops to the ground like a, a sack of bricks, about uh, about thirty feet from you guys. Cool. You managed to deal with these dogs without. You know, having any uh any bites. <laughs> Kevin Boria, well done. <laughs> I wanna look around, see if that gunfire attracted anything that I can yeah, see. Roll. Yeah, but I wanna roll a spot check on that one. All right, I'll roll the spot. <clears throat> I'll, I'll just go get to work on cleaning the fucking dog for some meat. Okay, well, well, uh, <laughs> you guys are uh. Searching, yeah, Boria goes over and uh, with a, a smile on his face, <laughs> begins to extract dog meat from the, the carcasses. There's a survival God, check if you want a 15. Oh, okay. Eight. I roll an eight. Ah, and that one strikes again. Yes, it does. It's weird. It's an evil head. Oh, well, you guys do not see anything else around. Uh, you, yeah, see, you see nothing except the two dead dogs. There's no one coming, no one running or anything you can see, like to your position. And Borya, you extract off of, uh, the two puppers. Well, the one because he's closest. Okay, uh, the, the dog that's closest to you, you uh, extract uh, fifteen pounds of of pupper meat. Yay. All right. 15 pounds of wet dog meat. Yeah. Like That's a big ass dog. Hated ass <laughs> dog meat. I'm going to reload my pistol. Top it off. Okay. Yep. Same thing. And I'll take some loose uh, <laughs> rounds and top off. All righty. So, uh, what do you guys do right. now? Reload your shit. I'm going to head over to the other dog. There you go. <laughs> oh, so you guys go up to the rocky outcroppings where the uh, other dog is laying dead. And as you're moving up there, uh, roll listen checks. Christ. Plus seven. 18. 14. 11. 18. 13. Okay. Uh, so, 
Corlin and Kevin, you guys here to the north, uh, which you can you can't really see. There's some trees in the way and such. Uh, you you can hear just voices, you know, shouting a few hundred feet down the road. Can't really make out what they're saying or anything, but uh, they're, you can probably guess they're a little startled that people are shooting. Is this ahead of us or back towards the way we came? Uh, it's ahead, so it's just to the north. I'd say we go ahead till we can, uh, at least through binoculars, see the bastards. Uh, okay. <laughs> Do I got time to dress that other dog before we go? Oh, yeah, if you want to. Just, uh, I, I didn't want to climb up to where it was. I'm going to take out my PDA and see if anybody's talking about it. Oh, right. PDAs are a thing. <laughs> that they are. If only you uh, remembered that for your last encounter. With people in this what room. do I roll for PDA? Just just look at it. Uh, <laughs> <Read a check. laughs> gotta do a spot check. <laughs> the, the dumbest troglodytes in Ukraine can use these things. <laughs> so I look at PDA to see if anybody's talking about what we just did. Uh, no one seems to be saying anything. Oh, Man, what? I saw two guys shoot a dog. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's a Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> I heard small arms fired. Watch out. <laughs> yeah. Just watch a duty or melee a cat. I heard a duty or melee a cat. <laughs> Here's some melee in the garbage. Watch out. <laughs> oh, Whoa, I found some cat the grease. The you, you also managed to get 15 pounds of meat off the dog. Yeah. What is? How did you connect to that? What is this an app? <laughs> I fiddle with my PDA and trying to figure out how he connected to the network. Well, so Sidorovich Tech Support can do that for you for a low monthly fee. <laughs> <laughs> which Just one to, more which, job. Which brings me to this session sponsor of Ast <laughs> <laughs> Nord VPN. <laughs> That would be a good plug. I should do. I would be. <laughs> don't let don't let uh, bandits know your location in the zone. <laughs> Sign up for NordVPN today. That's fantastic. That would be a good one. <laughs> uh, shit, I I'll, I'll take the voice acting rule. <laughs> Nord, are you listening? Sponsor this man. Sponsor me. <laughs> I need to hey, show sponsor you him. Sidorovich says he's good at it. I want to sell out. Give me the opportunity. I want to be a corporate prostitute, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so yeah, nothing on the PDA. You clean the dog, and you guys are just chilling. There I on think the side of the you were. Who's got binoculars? To... Right. That. I got binoculars. Beano. Okay. Uh, so, are you gonna sneak up and take a look? Are y'all gonna go? How's it going down? Uh, I, can we get any kind of impression like you know is it going to be a 500 uh, foot movement to get line of sight on this or uh, can we just send one guy like 20 feet up a small hill to go take a look you could yeah you could probably get a decent view if you 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 can see a little break in the tree line to your northeast. You could probably I, go up an elevation through there and get. A I, I will take off my binoculars and offer them to any one of our sneaky spotty boys. All right, I'll do it. <laughs> All right, I so take the binoculars a too. <laughs> yeah, neat, neat. All, All right. right. Oh, uh. You move off. Uh, Is that a slip move silently kind of thing? Uh, you don't really, think? You're far enough out, it probably wouldn't matter. But yeah, if, if you want to go for okay. it, go for it. 
All right. So uh, what's in front of me once I break cover from this rock that we just uh, ATF the dogs at? Uh, just some trees. Yeah, All right. Little, some tree cover. Not much right. is sparse, but there's enough there you could you could get through. All right. So like, uh, so there's the road, and then there's the trees. Uh, yes. Yeah. So I could like uh, stay off the side a bit. Uh, Just if you go right. up, if you, if you go around the trees, like to your right, like the right side of the road. Like where you guys are at, you could you could just stay off the road and do it from there. So how far am I going up? Uh you gotta go about a hundred feet. Alrighty. So is there is there a tree that I could uh crouch behind? Uh yeah, yeah. You can just All right. Yeah. I'm gonna do that. You can just roll a hide check or something. Yeah. Alrighty. Let me just see. Okay. Just recheck that. Okay. I rolled a 21. Nice. Okay. For the hide check. And then uh, do I roll a spot check from peeking around this tree? Oh, yeah, just roll spot, yeah. With the binos. Hopefully they're still being loud and easy to find. Okay. Eleven. Uh, you can see there's a couple of guys that are up on a lookout tower. Am I able to see what they're wearing? Uh, no, you can't really make it out too well, but you just see there's a couple of dudes... You see there's a, a wall. This is some kind of of checkpoint station. There's like barbed wire up on top of the walls. There is a building inside. Uh, and it looks like there is a gate that can be opened and closed as well. So there's two of them. All right. Yeah, yeah you see the okay. two guys sitting uh, there. Uh, yeah, up could I roll? Tower. Could I roll a listen to see if they're still yakking? Uh, yeah, go for it. Okay. 24. Okay, well, uh, you hear them uh, kind of, they're, they're talking loud still. Uh, and you hear one of them say, hey, I just saw a flash of light up there on that hill. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm gonna duck behind that. <laughs> I move silently. Hey, it, it's gone now. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, I'm I'm behind the fucking tree. Uh, yeah, do, do my party see me? Uh, your guys, uh, they did have to move up to see you through the trees. They, I'm just picturing bandits. You you're seeing an anomaly, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> Pay no attention to the anomaly in the trees. Booga booga booga. Uh, but yeah, they don't seem to be doing anything about it. No one's shooting at you, nothing. That's practically an invitation. Um, I'm going to move back to the party. I'm going to roll a move silently. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Twelve. Oh, uh, yeah, you step on some sticks and stuff. Fucking. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, you, uh, you managed to, to come on back. It's not like you were banging pots and pans when you were doing it, but. Pan shot. Hey, not fucking up on a roll of fours. Not bad. No, that's true. I mean, if you didn't have that plus eight bonus, <laughs> that's when the pain... Oh, you you, you, uh, you accidentally step on a, a frying pan, which then steps on another one <laughs> and sets off a grenade. 
Oh, all the Christmas jingle bells boys. in your pockets fall out. Welcome our friend back. <laughs> yes. Take my property back from him. It's <laughs> dumb. Retrieve my property. If any happen to give me back my property. <laughs> also, uh, how'd it go? Go and you see anything. There's like a tower up ahead and and some buildings. There. I got there's uh coils of barbed wire at the top of the walls here and there. They uh they saw me looking, I think. They mentioned something about a flash, but they didn't really light me up at that tree. Uh I wasn't exactly listening back at uh the village. What is this place that we're coming up on? Sounds like the none too concerned. Mm-hmm. Looking at the map, this looks like it's an old checkpoint, and uh, the guy in the hospital called the place beyond this the garbage. Uh, did it look like the guys that we saw on the road the, the other day when we were heading back out of this area? They were kind of silhouetted up in that tower. <clears throat> so I, I, I couldn't. I couldn't tell, no. Well. Uh, hey, I got a question. Since I wasn't here, do you want me to have a PDA? I can explain why I would have one if you want. I think we all have a PDA. <clears throat> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I, think, yeah, I think pretty much everybody does. So yeah, it's... But just since I wasn't here for the last, I wanted to make sure. Oh, we weren't given them. We just all have them from character creation. Okay, bueno. Uh, get get on that PDA thing, and is there any way of asking who the fuck's up there? Uh, yeah, you could just send out a, a general message and say, hey, who's in the old uh, checkpoint north of the cordon or something? I'll be the retard who does that. Based. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> God, I'm gonna better than when we met Bob. Oh God, yeah. <clears throat> At least we're doing this from a distance. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna look around because still coming down from shooting dogs. Oh uh, yeah, there's you don't see anything around. Uh, and after a few minutes of you guys sitting around wandering and biting your fingernails. Uh, you get a little SMS back. And uh, a gentleman named Snake has sent a message back <laughs> saying, <laughs> yeah, we're up here. Is there, is there anything... Hello! Is there anything indicating like whom they belong to, to uh, like an affiliation. Uh, no, and you guys really don't know anything about factions too much to begin with. Well, yeah, I mean, everyone's banned. Everybody is there to steal your shit. It doesn't <laughs> matter. Who it, it doesn't matter what, they're, what color they're wearing. They're, they're there. To <laughs> All right. Well, well, hey. Do we want to ask if we're allowed to pass through? Might as well. I, I mean, you know, we, we could just go and see if they point guns at us. Or or I can keep talking <laughs> to the snake guy. I say let's go. Right. Oh, sneaky-like, though, you know. Do we want to go as a cluster or spread ourselves out? Maybe not everyone will be spotted. Might be able to get the jump if things go sideways. I'm I'm all right with that. Uh, I I didn't major in being a ninja, so uh, <laughs> I'll be whoever's getting seen. <laughs> well, if our intention is to make ourselves known, you could be the face, and the rest of us will pair off or spread out and cover you. Sounds perfectly fine. All right, so let's do um, that. Kind of arrange ourselves in a fan behind Boria. A, a way uh, back. I'll, I'll go ahead and kick Snake there a message that, uh, you know, yeah, I, I'm looking to pass through to the garbage. Uh, Snake sends you back another message saying, okay, no problem, just don't have your guns out. 
All you right. Don't shoot at us. We won't shoot at you. Um, I, I will sure. tr trundle along the road while I guess uh, the other people are trying to uh, creep through bushes. Right. Hang back. Make sure that actually works before we just say, oh, well, boy, howdy. Let's head on in. Yeah. Put someone's hat on the artifact stick and poke <laughs> that out in the view. See if they shoot it. There you go. <laughs> I have the stick. <laughs> I have the power. Uh, well, you guys uh, roll move silently checks or something while you're you're doing your thing. Okie dokie. Okay. While you're being bush people. <laughs> move. Silently. Yeah. All right. Two. Plus nothing. Nineteen. Oh. Nineteen. Oh, no. All right. Who's got the one? <laughs> <laughs> Who's the guy? Okay. I got eleven. Okay. All right. So the threshold's ten for that, right? Uh it's maybe. <laughs> it could be. Maybe. <laughs> Probably isn't though. Is it? <laughs> yeah, the DM sets the DC, so it could be whatever he decides it is. Well, you have to beat their listen check, is the thing. Yeah, so you guys go through the uh, the bushes, being as quiet as possible. Uh, and you guys can see Boria from the uh, from your position as he walks down the road. And uh, as you're walking up, you see the uh, checkpoint with the gate and everything. And there's a couple of guys sitting outside. There's a couple of dudes in the tower. Uh, they got AKs and shotguns, and uh, they're looking at you. Uh, what are you doing for you? What, uh, what's going on? How close am I? Like, am I even in talking distance? Uh, you're, you, at this point, you're, you're a couple hundred feet out. You could, uh, I will make a friendly wave. The uh, universal <laughs> sign of I'm not here to kill you. There you go. Please don't kill me. <laughs> well, one of them waves back. He uh, motions you to come up. And I, I will come right on up. I think right. about the only thing I'm not going to do is uh, go inside without group. No, you get you know, unless yeah. a gunpoint. I, I will comply <laughs> if they put a gun in my nose. There you go. Not much else you can do. Uh, you make it up to the gate, and uh, they say hi, welcome. And you see, they're uh, they're wearing uh, a couple of them have some some black trench coats on. Everyone's wearing ski masks. You know, a couple All of them right, track suits. You know, good old uh, Adidas. And uh, one of them comes forward, where one of them wearing a trench coat and everything, uh, comes forward. So, oh, hello, I'm Snake. You must be the guy on the PDA. Oh, yeah. Uh, nice to meet you. Oh, uh, it's always good to meet other people who are friendly in the zone as well. Such a such a rare thing these days. Yeah, there's a lot of assholes out out there. Oh, there are, there are. <laughs> So, so you're looking to get through, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> so, saw guys with guns. I assume there's attacks of some kind. Yeah. Well, I, I we uh, we saw you too. I think we saw a little reflection of uh, somebody looking at us through some some binos or something. You know how it is. You see guys with guns. Oh yeah. You don't we totally just wanna... get you. Yeah, we get you for sure. Uh, and yeah, there 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 is a toll to pass. It's it's not very much though, uh, it's it's only a thousand rubles. All right, I don't have that on me, but I'll see if I can uh, come up with some of that. I got fifteen pounds of dog meat on me. Oh, fifteen that could that could do a little bit. Yeah, that's probably worth at least twenty rubles there. So yeah, just come up with the other nine eighty, and we're good. Hey. 
Um, I will. I will see about getting you that money. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, we're 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 pretty happy that you're a reasonable person. Most people either run or try to shoot, but you, you seem to be a good stand-up guy. You know what's going on. Yeah, both of those answers seem like a good way to die right here. Generally, yeah, and we don't like that, contrary to popular belief. You know, Salton doesn't like us just icing people on the roads. Yeah, you know, I think I've heard that name before. As you can tell, being on this side of uh, you know, your little checkpoint, yeah, you know, well, I'm fairly new here. Oh, we can tell. We can tell. But yeah, we're always here to help, man. We're always here to help. Well, hey, I, I will let people know that you guys are just, you know, the friendliest bunch. And you know, just <laughs> just pay just pay your tolls. Yeah, and uh that's a pretty nice rifle you got. In thereabouts, I really like it. It, it kind of sucks that uh, I, I don't have any of the uh, strip clips for it, so you still have to load it like it's a bolt gun. Oh, yeah, I know how that goes. Mind if I see it? I'd really uh, like to I'm probably going to need that to make you your money. Oh, you surely got something else, though, right? I mean, it's fine. <laughs> uh, what's the rifle worth to you? Well, actually, this. Uh, well, let me see the condition. Maybe that could be worth it, you know, to get through. I don't know. That, that looks like <laughs> it could. Be, it could be worth a thousand rubles. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> oh, do we ambush them? Well, and are they close as enough to hear any of this? A, I was gonna say, as far as we can tell, it's just a. I, I mean, like, the worst you got is, like, I'm looking around nervous-like. Yeah, you do see Borean looking around pretty nervous. Uh, roll listen checks, and you can see if you how much you actually can hear. Roger that. Fourteen. Ten. Yes. 19, baby. Nice. Um, what the fuck am I? Doing some napkin math here, boy. You can either sell him your rifle or you can collect another 800 pounds of dog meat. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying not all dog meat is dog meat? <laughs> I mean, it was a guy named Dog. We're gonna need a few puppers. <laughs> uh, so... Yeah, Ela and uh, and Kevin, you guys can hear. Uh, they're basically trying to steal his gun, and they want money to yeah, let you guys through. They're trying to fucking swindle him. They're trying to lift his gun, and on top of that, somehow make him get a thousand fucking rubles. What are we going to uh, do? Get like take... 10 bucks from the fat man? I say we kill him now. There's only, there's only two of them. Uh, well, we don't know that. Never mind. We have to make sure. (laughs) (laughs) We have only seen the two, right? Out of character. Uh, there's there's three outside the gate, two, and then the guy. Still two in the tower, and then there's still two in the tower. Yep. Okay. Okay. So, think uh, you've got the long rifle. If you want to take the tower, me and the rest of us will take the ones by the gate. How close are we to them? Uh, you're about uh 150 feet away. Okay. We can uh, sneak okay. up to them and maybe get a bit of an ambush going. Is it still cover between here and there? Uh, no, like you guys are on the edge of the tree line, so it's pretty much uh, just grass. Oh, is it, is it still daytime or is it nighttime? What what, a, what are we looking afternoon, at? Afternoon, afternoon, getting into the evening. What'd you say? Afternoon? Yeah. Yeah, afternoon getting into evening. Okay. So we'd have to charge them. Because I don't have a rifle. (laughs) (laughs) They've only got eight shotguns. It's no big deal. Oh, you know. It's practically a pistol. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) It's a, a a beef pistol, basically, yeah. 
<laughs> Beef. <laughs> All right, yeah. if we can make it up there, we can at least kill a few of them. Unless you want to hang back, Dinka. You're coming with us. It would probably make, well, I say, with my garbage attack rolls, it would probably make more sense to stay back and snipe. All right. Who's with me? All right. I All assume right. I have no, you know, given I've talked enough and this is overlapping what I did, I have no idea they're actually moving in. No, you have no right. idea. Right. Yeah. Yeah, no <clears throat> okay. Okay. Well, uh... Kevin, on me. Corlin, yeah. you take my right. Okay? Huh. All right. I'm let's on fuck, it. Let's fucking move. And I'm gonna roll all... a move silently. Ilya, you give me the signal and I'll fire at the one in the tower. Will do. I rolled a 28. Ways to nice. Get, ways to get your friend killed. <laughs> number, <laughs> number 72. <laughs> Sweet release. <laughs> Seven. Yes, good. <laughs> We're already going. We're already on the video. I already love. Hey, this is the point, man. It's entertainment. <laughs> I mean, hey, I, I'm actually better in melee than I am at ranged. That's I'm hoping stab this guy tries to draw his gun with oh. reach up me. Dude, oh, like, boy. yeah, John Wick it out of his hands and blow his brains out. That'd be amazing. Nat one, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Corlin's just <laughs> running in there, just full awesome. angry Irishman. Yeah. <laughs> is that not what we're doing? Uh, well, as, 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 oh, you guys are, tans. as you guys are sneaking about, <laughs> attempting to sneak about, uh, yeah, Boria, you see, uh, you see one of uh, the guys up in the tower kind of uh, make a funny look, and uh, they raise their guns and point at the tree line, say, "Hey, boss, we got more of them." Dinka, shoot uh, now! Uh, st start taking my rifle off. Yeah, hey, maybe I should give you a look at this. And uh, I'm not yeah. handing it to him, to be I clear. I got <laughs> the signal, so I guess I'm going to shoot. He's going to shoot. <laughs> 11. Uh, I'm just going to start moving. Yeah, you you hear uh, Dinka shoot. <laughs> you, see, you hear the loud nugger. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the, uh, <laughs> it's it's uh, it's a good time. Okay, roll initiatives, guys. All right, yippee ki yay, motherfuckers! <laughs> All right. I'm assuming my shot missed. Uh, Eight. Yes, it missed. <laughs> As one does. One d twenty plus two. Oh, thirteen. Yeah, eleven. Yeah, boy. Wait, I don't know which. Well. I don't know which roll was. It, it counted two rolls. A dice roller. You're going first. On mine, they're all spaced out. You rolled a. Where are you at? <coughs> He's a fifteen. Yeah. yeah. All right, you're going first, Bucko. Yeah, yeah, you got a 15. <clears throat> oh, fuck's okay. sake. So you, so you 15. Okay, okay. Give me a second. So I'm fourth. Corlin's last. Uh, Boria's second. Uh, Kevin yeah, should be first. And then you should be third after Boria. All right, so I'm first. Oh, yep. Hold on. The bandits get to roll too. Yep. That's, oh shit! Yeah, that's right. There's a few. Well, we're fucked. <laughs> that was a nice game, guys. Hey, three run. episodes. <laughs> three episodes. Take that critical roll. <laughs> we don't. I mean, we we've don't... seen what two two guys. I mean, we we could potentially have this. Oh, we've seen five. <laughs> There's three talking to you and two in the tower. That's true. Two guys. <laughs> There's only two guys. Oh, you fine. got this. <laughs> <laughs> the other three don't matter. It's just the two in the tower. 
It's only two guys. The rest are just blind dogs in trench coats. <laughs> no, it's bur- they're burrs. They're freaking burrs. Burr with an AK. <laughs> I mean, it's not that far fetched. Those little suckers are smart. Okay, and then you have 11. Okay, Dinka, then. Dina. Okay. Corlin. <laughs> okay, all right, we're good. All right, so. All right, so uh, Snake in front of you decides uh, he doesn't like you very much. And uh, yeah, he, he uh, reaches in and pulls out a pistol. Uh, I haven't acted yet, so I'm still flat footed and shit, so I get to yeah. do nothing. Yes, unfortunately. Uh, and one of the uh, other bandits next to him on the left with the shotgun uh, decides he's going to uh, blast you. <laughs> Yay, firing into melee penalty, I hope. <laughs> yep. <laughs> hit snake, hit snake, hit snake. Yeah. And uh, what is your AC here on your character sheet? Uh, let me dig that shit up. Okay. Uh, Flatfooted's 12. Flatfooted's 12, okay. Uh, he does manage to hit you. Balls. Unfortunately. And, yeah, okay, that's like four points of damage. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Horrible. Just kind of just, just wipes it <laughs> off. <laughs> Have fun I think walking. I was using a dove shot. Yeah, he yep. was using some fucking mean zone base. grade buckshot. Yeah. <laughs> he just hits you with some rock shot. Some You're rock fine. salt. Fine. This is no worse than a hunting trip with Dick Cheney. You'll walk it's it off. <laughs> it, it's bandit knockoff home loaded uh, yeah. shells. <laughs> Bubba's <laughs> pissing hot hand loads. <laughs> a towel flater mouse with a penny fucking special. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, you get hit there, but you 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 walk it off. And uh, Kevin, you're up, buddy. Um, how close am I to these guys? Uh, you guys are like. Hundred ish feet out in the they're still in the tree line, right? Or were you guys they had the moved it they yeah. had advanced. I didn't though. Okay. So you guys are out in the open. Yeah, you're uh yeah, you're you're yeah, you we'll say eighty. How about that? There we go. Eighty feet. All yeah. right. Um, okay. Why not? Eighty feet sounds sounds fun. What's our move speed? Is it thirty? Uh thirty is uh, movement unless you're fast. He's okay. fast. He's I think he's forty or something, right? Or is it thirty five? Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Uh is. is there anything that I can run up on that is any kind of cover on approach to this little thing they got? Not a <laughs> it is straight <laughs> grass, baby. We're touching grass. You're touching grass. That's what it's all about. Uh we touching the grass. You you're Fuck your, it, scared them. <laughs> your face is about to hit. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck! Um, I mean, I, I guess that closing a distance would be uh, uh, a full turn. Uh, you can you can run and shoot still. Uh, because what's each turn way? gets an action and a yeah, movement. action move. So I don't. Yeah, uh, actually, is there a thing in in D twenty modern where you can sacrifice your your action, uh, your your attack action for extra movement speed. I don't think so. Uh, you <laughs> you can do two consecutive move actions, or a move and an attack. Okay. Or There's a or rush. as a full round action, you could run, which oh, yeah. is four times your base movement speed. Okay. But yeah, that needs okay. to be in a straight line, and you right. lose your dexterity bonus to AC. Right. Uh. So. Let me check his character sheet. And I know since some of the people here may have played uh, more modern iterations of d and I think the run action has generally just gone away. Right. 
Yeah, if I remember, I think so. Uh, likewise, uh, oh. as a full round, you can charge with melee, uh, move up to double your movement in a straight line, and get a plus two on the attack roll and a neg two on your uh, defense. Okay, so that's what he was talking about. <clears throat> Sacrifice your action for extra movement. Well, or you can just take two two movement actions. <gasps> Which and would, that can be not in a straight line, wherever the fuck you want to do. Right, which would get you up to the wall, basically. Like, uh, what kind of thing do they got at the wall? Like, if I'm right up against the wall, are they are they just gonna like lean over and blast down? Uh, they for if you ran up to the wall, they probably couldn't get an angle on you. From the tower. I was going to say, they've right got there. towers independent. It's not yeah. a castle no, where they're it, walking on the walls. Yeah, if you get to the wall, you're pretty much safe from them. The only guys that can get you would be the dudes on the ground already. Okay, and, the, and how many are outside the wall? Uh, three. There's the snake guy and uh, two of his gunos. There okay. With, uh, with All right. Uh, I'm going to go for the ground because we got I got people in the back that can... Uh, <laughs> One other could assist with dudes on the ground, and then uh, Nugger and Wrenchhead can like blast at the tower or something, make them duck. Maybe I don't know. Uh, well, I've got the pistol. Bori is the one with the rifle, so I ain't well, got the range for that. Well, uh, Dinky in the rear. Yeah, yeah. With my crooked sights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can't it? Can't it? Um, Canted. Okay, so, 45 so, degree. A century special. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to move up, try to move up to uh, the wall. Can I also attack them? Uh, no, you'd either move or attack. Like that's, so you, <clears throat> you can move and take a shot, but we'll be in the grass still, or you could or you could just sacrifice attacking this time and make it to the wall. I'm going to make it to the wall. Okay. Why is this it? <laughs> Okay, I didn't even cover me. Very so I want my roll for that. Nothing. Uh, just do it. Yeah. Just okay. Go. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, you you uh you guys see Kevin uh sprint like Sonic the Hedgehog up to the wall. God damn it! As he, as he makes it up there uh, without getting uh, okay. blown away. Uh, and uh, yeah, Boria, you're up, buddy. Big zooming. All right. And uh, good good guy Snake here in front of me. Oh, no. <laughs> Meanwhile, this is me going in the background. I mean, I got point blank shot. My rifle's in my hand, so nah. that, that's a no-brainer, I think. Why would you utilize that? <laughs> I would have you, to why throw the cheat? gun down and wrestle. <laughs> yeah, why would you cheat like that? You need to fist fight. <laughs> Uh, 1d20 plus, come on, brain, plus four because point blank shot. Yay, an eight. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> he tackles him a little bit. Uh, and yeah. I mean, I, he doesn't have a knife or any shit in his no. other hand, right? No, he just has the, the pistol he pulled out. That's it. Uh, I'll, I'll fucking 30 feet out and around the fucking wall. <laughs> There you go. Okay, so you just run towards your friends, then? Is that like a that? Way? I mean, I I'm not entirely aware of where they are true, or exactly yeah. where I am in relation to the wall. I'm going to get cover from the wall. Okay. So he, uh, yeah. You guys see Boria take a shot and run, and uh, as you get up close to the wall, you can see uh, Kevin's already there. Uh, and it is on. How you doing, buddy guy? The, the second band. Thanks for not shooting me. <laughs> yeah, thanks for not shooting at me, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, so the second bandit, uh, who was beside Snake, uh, uh, begins shooting as well. <coughs> he is shooting at you, Boria, unfortunately. Oh. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. That's fucking skull. <laughs> yeah, this could be over a lot quicker than we wanted it to be. <laughs> uh, yeah, there goes Boria. He, he gets a good shot on you, <laughs> and uh, yeah, you, you 
take uh, 12 points. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, I'm in eggs. <laughs> uh, yeah, as as he runs, and, uh, <coughs> Kevin, you, you see uh, Borea come close to you, and you smile, because you just might make it through this. Uh, yeah, you, you see a red mist as Borea hits the ground. <laughs> fuck. fuck. Well, now I'm just going to have to back up a bit. <laughs> And it's Dinkers. <laughs> you, just, <laughs> you just saw Boria hit the ground. <laughs> Wonderful. All right. Um, I want to use whatever movement it takes to post up behind a tree and try and steady myself on it and take another shot uh, at Snake. Okay. Do your Do worst. Do not miss. Do not 15. miss. Yes! Okay, yeah. You, you managed to, to, to plunk him. Oh, finally. All right. Let me see what my damage dice are. I haven't looked yet because I keep messing. Because you never get them. Can't, them <laughs> canted uh, sites come into play. By 10. Probably. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So theoretically, you could blast him here. 12. Yeah. Yeah, he, uh, yeah, he hits the fucking ground. <laughs> Revenge. About time. Yeah, he goes down. All right. And. Eli, you are up now. Oh, goody. You All right. Snake hit the floor. Good. That's one less asshole. So we still got two guys over by the gate and two guys up in the tower, right? Yeah, that's correct. Wonderful. All right. Um, right. I'm going to move over to the wall where everybody else is, kind of find a spot in there and, you know, keep my head down while the shit's still going on. Um. I figure that's all I can do for that one. Okay, so you go up to the wall, too? Yep. All right, roger that. And you see uh, him run through. And so it's just so three of you are up against the wall. And Dinka, you're in the tree line still. Yes. And you've yet to move, Corlin. Okay. All right, well, uh, one of the boys from the tower... Uh, Really has a hard on for Dinkers. Oh boy! And uh, <laughs> you, uh, you, you, your asshole puckers a little bit as some rounds land in a tree next to you, like little birds. <laughs> yeah, they're, 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 they're angry birds. Yeah, angry birds. <laughs> they have the game on my PDA. <laughs> Corlin, you're fucking up. nerd. I'm gonna run to the wall. There you go. Yeah. Okay, Corlin runs to the wall as well. And the second bandit in the tower also fires and uh, does not hit you at all. Hey, uh, I, I'm just throwing this out there. Forgot about it existing. I should have spent an action point. Yeah. Oh, yeah, action points are a <laughs> Forgot thing. Forgot that mechanic exists. <laughs> that it does. <laughs> so uh, what... Blow those. Blow those now. What does action points do? How do they work? Um, add, adds a die six to a roll. Yes. To any roll? Yes. Die 20 rolls. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nice. So not damage. No, not damage. Right. Checks and attacks, you get a, an extra d6 to add in. Saves. Yeah. That would make a big difference. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything in the field for action points on my sheet. I think the base is five. You get five. Yeah, you get five. And they come back every time you level up. Yippers. Uh -huh. So I just put five in that. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah. Alrighty. There. How do how does the death mechanic work in this too? So like four is so a negative. I'm, I'm gonna lose a hit point every turn. Yes. Because you're at or below zero? Yes. Until you yeah. stabilize, yeah. Okay. And then if you like if you take negative damage matching your HP, do you just straight no, up die? No, neg ten. Yeah, neg ten, you're dead. Okay. So like I've I've got um like four or five turns. Yeah. He's just bleeding out. He's fine. Gotcha. Yeah, is so, there like uh, a critical or like a massive damage mechanic in this where like if you take too much in one hit, you're just straight up, or does it just yes. only if it goes to neg ten right yeah, away? We're playing the, the there, there's version. a massive damage rule. Yeah. Uh, right. and I'm throwing fort saves a DC of twenty to try and stabilize myself every turn. Yes. Okay. So those are like death saves in D D. 
I guess basically. I, I don't know. Is it, I mean, this is just five. how third edition and three point five worked. Yeah. It's okay. Just, yeah, I'm coming from five E. So yeah, I, I don't know. Never played five. Uh, <clears throat> cool, cool, cool. Okay, and uh, the uh, the first bandit with the shotgun is uh, now flanking. Uh, he moves his thirty feet out to uh, engage you guys at the uh, the wall. And so how many guys are at the wall? So everybody but Deeker, right? Correct. Okay. All righty. And he is shooting at Corlin. And, ooh, yeah. Yeah, and uh, yeah, he, he hits you pretty good. And you take 13 points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the, All right. The, the random shell, I guess, landed on a slug. <laughs> Or something. Yeah. yeah, you you you're uh, you you're, you're pretty good there. That hurt. Yeah, so, Ouchie. Uh, what are you at now? Four. Four. Uh, hey, at least you're not down. You know? What a sturdy <laughs> lad. <laughs> it's, that, it's that thick Irish skull. Yeah. That's right. And that slug ain't got shit on his grandma shillingly. <laughs> <laughs> I've been hit. I've been hurt worse before. <laughs> but nothing the British didn't already do to my family. <laughs> <laughs> We're offending everyone yeah. this time. <laughs> yeah, because... I yes. never want this monetized ever. Comment section. Well, that would be a good time to thank our sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody Sunday Realty. Because they're not coming back. <laughs> Uh, and Kevin, you're up. Uh, all right, I'm shooting. Okay, right. do do I see the shotgunner guy? <laughs> yes, you do. Yeah, he did flame. Okay, how did uh, just he he massacred your boy? How close is he? Uh, he's about thirty feet away. Okay, he's thirty feet away. Yep. <laughs> you can pistol. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna. Pistol him. And as a reminder, Again. you can spend that action point, but you have to spend the action point before uh, the game master declares whether it succeeds or fails. Okay, so could I use an action point right now? Yes, yes, yes. You can. Okay, and that's a plus five? Uh, no, no. Roll, roll a one die six yep. and then add that. Yippers. And at later levels, it becomes stronger. Yeah. Uh, okay. So what? Uh, one d six plus five. Uh, no, no 1D6 just one dice. Your, yeah, plus your original roll. So it'd be. So since your your original roll here, the total's ten, right? Yep. Add the result of one dice six to that. Okay. Yeah. So you fourteen. Four. Okay. You yeah you do hit him. So you roll for damage. Ready. Damage. Okay. So you can spend the action point after you get the results of the roll, as long as it's yep. before the DM declares. Yeah, yeah no, it, you, just you, as long as it, if I tell you it misses, then no, you can't go. Yeah, back it's too late, like, right? Oh, of course. Okay. But I mean, you, you could spend it before you. Right. I mean, actually, the rules say you can't. The rules say you need your roll result, but not whether you succeed or fail. So it's got to be in that in between. Right. Great. So, so if you roll a two and it's something important. You know, like, oh, I'll burn then you can spend a point. Yeah, got it. You don't know okay. if the two is gonna. I mean, you can fucking guess the two right. is probably not gonna work, but, so you can burn it. But okay. I'm gonna roll two d six. Yep. Go yep. for it. All right. Eight. Yeah, you plug him nice, good. Nice. You plug him good. Uh, and uh, he he screams a little bit. Eight. <laughs> okay, and uh, the second bandit is coming around as well. After you heard his friend uh, whimper like a woman. <laughs> Demonetize. <clears throat> Demonetize. <laughs> okay, and uh, he is shooting at you, uh, Mr. Wrench. Ouch. Uh, and somehow you managed to uh, just not get sprayed. Yay, I'm lucky. <laughs> you don't get hosed. Lucky prick. But I wanted the hose. And Dinka, you uh, you see as the 
other bandit man has come around and fired and missed. Uh, the two are still in the tower. Two are just out in the grass. Gotcha. <clears throat> All right. So guys in the grass are probably the greater threat, so I want to aim for shotgun dude. Okay. And I'm going to roll to attack, which is a six. So I want to go ahead and burn one of those action points. Okay. Which makes it uh, ten. 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 I thought math's so good. Yeah, no, and uh, you don't shoot so good either. <laughs> <laughs> it's and some canted sights, man. Yeah, unfortunately, you do not hit him uh, with the uh, Papa's nugget. Hey, still, the goal is to not die with action point spent. That's true. I'm getting least. massive rolls with things I've got huge bonuses on, but the things with small bonuses, I'm rolling little. Well, maybe you shouldn't be. Maybe the uh, non-combat person shouldn't be our designated. Person. <laughs> DMR. <laughs> you should, you're, you're the uh, you're the anomaly inspector, not the, uh, not the shooter. Good eye, shit trigger finger. Hey, you know. Okay. Well, so he misses him. Uh, Ela's up. So you got a shotgun asshole and then an asshole with an AK that just tried to blast you. What are you doing? I'm going to shoot at the asshole with the AK. I'm feeling a little vengeful. Okay, go for it, buddy. What do you got? <laughs> All right, 11. Okay, do you want to burn an action point on that? To... Uh, well, I mean, the threshold's just straight 10, isn't it? No. Or is it... Uh... No, no, okay. the, the, no. You, you're aim, you're... You enemy to... defense is variable. Okay. Yeah. And I don't easy. think we've seen anything I'll... under 14 hit. Right. All right. I'll burn. I'll I'll burn. I'll, I'll burn an action point for so, that then. Yeah. So they're just like you. Have, you have armor and shit. They do too. Like they. They're just characters like us. Hey, yeah. there we go. Seventeen. Just, me. just like me. Seventeen. Me. You. You do plug AK man. Good. Good. Nice. All right. Yeah. Roll. <clears throat> so just I guess roll. So that'd just be two d six then, wouldn't it? Yeah, two d six. Add to that. No modifiers. Nope. So. Nine. Nine. Yeah, you get him good in the chest. He's not happy. Uh, nice sucking chest wound. Yeah, he's uh he's coughing up some blood later. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, he he, uh, he also screams like a woman as you do when you get shot with a fucking nine millimeter. Or you laugh, you laugh at it, you know. <laughs> uh, and the uh, tower guys are seeing their friends get wrecked a little bit, and uh, they decide they want to shoot at the guy who can't shoot them. Hey, <laughs> hey, assholes, I'm out here. <clears throat> uh, let, let me know when it comes to me so I can do the stabilize. I will. Yep, no problem. Uh, and you uh, get shot at, but nothing hits you. And this is Corlin. You're as bad at this as I am. <laughs> we all <laughs> suck. I want to shoot the shotgun guy. Nice. Okay. <laughs> so, I was going to say, we got some Shadow of Chernobyl aim here. <laughs> <laughs> the first shot only counts. I mean, thank God it's not clear sky where every bandit has a unlimited stack of grenades. <laughs> I thought about it. I didn't think about wondering that. grenades, but I was like, that'll oh, end this you. way too quick. <laughs> What's that, oh, like thank four God. Six, four gonna, four oh, eight. No, we'd all be dead. You'd all be dead. Uh, yeah, right. so you got an 11. Uh, do you want to use an action point, Corlin? Yes, that's okay. what I'm about to do. Based, based action point user. <laughs> Base Four. player of game. 15 altogether. Okay, you plug him again. Yeah, fuck you, guy. <laughs> uh, the action points are also one of those things like NPCs, unless they're like special heroics, generally don't have those. Right. Right, yeah. Ten. Uh, yeah, so you plug him in the head, and uh, the back of his, his head sprays a nice red mist, and he drops to the ground. They all fall to hard ball. <laughs> the fuck? And Dinka, yeah. you take some more fire from <laughs> from the tower man. Bring it on. Uh, it, it does hit you, unfortunately, this time. Your luck is Don't bring it on. <laughs> take Please it back. Stop. <laughs> yeah, Go you take, away. Uh, you take nine points of damage. 
All right. I am at zero, so I drop yeah. <laughs> to no, the ground. Yeah. Okay. Which no one even can see because no one sees you in the tree. But goodbye, both riflemen. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> hey, good news. Two free rifles. Hey! hey. <laughs> Only slightly used. Slightly used, yeah. Burnt in half. I don't know if I want the nugget. It seems cursed. Okay, and uh, uh, it's, it's my you, you now, pussy. All right. Double check my fort save. Save, 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 <coughs> saves. Four. Yeah, the action point can't even save that one, so I failed this turn. Okay. So I'm trying to make six. six. What are you trying to beat to uh, stabilize? Twenty. Yeah. You have to beat twenty to stabilize. Yeah. Yeah. Oof. Oof. Uh, actually, would have been more favorable. I think three point five is just like a raw 30, 33 percent, something like that. So yeah, this one definitely hurts a little more at low level. Yippers. Goody goody. Okay, and we are back to Kevin. Oh, da, da, da. So you still yeah. have uh, the, the AK AK. With the AK. Yep, perfect. All right. How close is he to me? Uh, 30 feet from, from all he's, Yeah, he's within shooting range. So uh, you can move and then shoot, or you can just shoot him and then do whatever you want. <clears throat> But you guys um, seem to be fine. Where could I move to? What's near me? Uh, you could try to get. You could move around to the gate, maybe, or or whatever you want to do. Uh, but okay. the where you're how many right now, are on the ground right now? Just that one is outside. Uh, that your your boy, your friend is down and bleeding out pretty good. Uh, do I know that if any uh bandits got taken out on the inside, but didn't snake go down? Uh yeah, you know Snake went down and you know the shotgun man just got plugged by the uh the crazy potato man. Okay, so that just makes AK guy the only one left? On the ground, yep. There's still there's the still assholes in the tower. Okay. But they don't really have a line of sight on you. Okay, I'm not gonna give them that line of sight. Okay, so it's uh one D twenty plus three for the pistol. Big money, big money. No whammies. No whammies. No whammies. No whammies. Whammy. No whammies. Stop. Whammy. Stop. Whammy. <laughs> and uh, would you like to burn an action point on that? I would just ask everybody to remind you. Uh, and I, so wait, the uh, the number five was the number of points. No, that's that's the number. Uh, like the the five you just rolled, that's the hit. You have five okay. action, or you have four action points left, so you could roll another d six like you did before and add that to the roll if you wanted. Your best case scenario is a twelve to, or an eleven to hit. An eleven. Yeah. Okay. So roll a action point if you want to. You don't have to. Just, uh, just it, here's me. here's the thing. Your odds of succeeding, even with the action point, are very low. Okay. I will neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> <laughs> so, so here, I... like my stabilized thing, right? I could just look at it, know it wasn't going to succeed, and not spend the action point. Okay. Okay, so it so five doesn't even hit. No, correct. Not hit it. Yeah, I don't. Again, I don't think I we've seen a value under fourteen hit. So, uh, so the highest you can get if you did burn the action point would be eleven. So it's up to you to decide if you think an eleven to hit is going to be enough to succeed to justify spending the point or not. Um. Fuck. <laughs> and that's if you max your roll. So chances are yeah, you're not going to get the Assuming you 11. get the, the one and six. You could get a plus one yeah. for a six. <laughs> I mean, I got four of them left, right? Yeah. You do. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll fuck it. I'll try it. Send it. Full send. Four. Nice. Uh, it does not hit, unfortunately. You tried. Yep. 
Okay, and AK man uh, doesn't like what you tried. <laughs> 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 he doesn't like what you've done. He already has a uh, nine millimeter lol in his chest. <laughs> He's already not having a good day. He's got a third nipple. Yeah, no. What's your AC, buddy? My, defense, uh, yeah, your, your defense or whatever the hell it's called. Uh, fuck, I'm trying to look. Is it, uh, right below your hit points? Yes, yeah, sir. Um, pull up defense? Yes. My yep. defense is 16. Okay, uh, yeah, he does not hit you. <laughs> Uh, you managed to uh, matrix your way out of that one. Okay, and he's done. Okay, Dinkers is down. And uh, yeah, Ranch, oh, my fort you're save. Up. Wait, was it my turn? No, no, you go last, buddy. You're, you're, you're done. You were just saying that. Okay, yeah, I'm just, just making sure. So I have a list. Oh I like, boy, yeah. I was about to say you, but you're you're down. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, do I roll on my turn or do I roll at the end of the round? Fifteen. Sweet. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Rain. He, he does fucking rain bullets at him. <laughs> I did the thing. Get him good. <laughs> All right. Roll for damage then. Yes. Roll for damage. Roll two d six. Put him out of his misery. I uh, done yeah. killed him. Uh. Yeah. And he he goes down after he gets shot in the chest yet again from the uh, nine wall millimeter. I am funny. Okay, and uh, the uh, you you guys hear the one of the bandits in the tower uh, say something along the lines of "Let's get down there," and uh, you hear him start to move down the tower. Uh, and uh, Corlin, you're up. The two that are the two bandits that are out in the open are are now down. Your uh, your buddy Boria is also down. And you can hear the bandits coming down the tower. What are you doing? Um, can I poke my head around and throw a flashbang at them? Would that even do anything? Uh, yeah, you can do that. Yeah, fuck it, I'll do that. So you run up to the uh, corner of where the gate is, or yeah, okay, and just toss one around, or what? Yeah, I'll just lob it at him. Okay. Well, uh, roll your uh, your attack roll to throw. Uh, that's a range. <laughs> Dumbass range. Do it, Irishman. Do it. Kill the son of a bitch. It's just a flashbang. 19. You can beat it's him a, in the head with it. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, it's just a flashbang. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let me see. Let me get the... uh, if I remember right, like just pegging a square is like a DC 10. I think it is. Yeah. I'm just double checking real quick. <clears throat> Now what is happening? Uh, I'm just looking up the rules for the flashbang here real quick. Or... Hopefully they're stunned so you guys can fill them full of lead. White phosphorus grenade? No, not that. Well, that's uh, I, I gotta bring up the book. I think it's in that addendum at the bottom. Oh, it's in... Okay. I was gonna say, I'm not seeing it anywhere. In the grenade. Okay. I, I'm in the MSRD, but... Uh... Yeah, I think you're going to have to actually dig up that uh, web enhancement out of the book. Probably. Remove one grenade. And uh, I I am also seeing if I can find it for you. Not D20 pass. That, that's wrong. Yeah, it's got... Fragmentation, smoke, tear gas, thermite, white phosphorus, but no flash grenades. Huh. All right, I got the flashbang. There nice. you go. What's that? Uh, what, what do you need? I got uh, a burst radius of 15. 15, okay. So, it's gonna get so what's the DC if they're in the radius? Or uh, is the 10? A flashbang grenade is a non-lethal device that uses a bright flash and loud report to disable blah blah blah. 
All creatures within the burst radius must succeed at DC uh, 16, oh, okay. yeah. a fort save, right. or become dazed. Can take no actions for one die six rounds. Right. <clears throat> I mean, that's pretty fucked. <laughs> that's so P as hell. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, shit. Oh, uh, well, get them, boys. All right. Well, that's, okay. <coughs> uh, you guys hear a really loud bang as the flashbang goes off. And, uh, yeah, you hear a couple of, uh, dudes screaming. <laughs> like, what the fuck was that, Igor? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> hey, shit. Okay. And, uh, that's, that was, uh, Corlin. Okay. And uh, you see one of the bandits come around the corner right in your face, Corlin. And he does punch him in the face. <laughs> punch him in the face. <laughs> Say, do I get like a reflex? <laughs> uh, no, he just shoots. Uh, he misses you, but uh, yeah, he, he's He's not happy with you. Uh, and uh, yeah, so <laughs> it goes to uh, yeah, roll your, uh, your your save, uh, Boria. It's a very, it's a very pissy right. individual. He's, he's not very happy. <laughs> hey, that's there what's been an action point on. There you go. Big money. No money. money. 20. Nice. Yep. Big money. All right. Uh, Dinkers, you can do yours now. Fort Okey save. Okie dokie. Roll to 20. All right. Finally. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Yeah, right. I told Hell you. Yeah. Non combat throws. So yeah. am I stabilized? No, you're stabilized. You're not conscious. Yeah. Right. Just, I'm just not... at zero on the ground. I'm just not yeah. losing health. Right. You're just not Sweet. using a point every turn. I'll take it. I'll take it. <clears throat> okay, and then it goes back to Kevin. So yeah, they just, you just heard the flashbang go off, and you uh, you saw one of the bandits come around the corner and try to shoot your uh, your Irish friend. Status on on them? Are they dazed or no? Are they just pissed? Uh, the well, you can't see the other two over the wall, or you can't see the other ones over the wall, but you can see the the one that came around the corner. He's presented himself to me, so... Yes, he has. How close is he? Oh, uh, within 30 feet, yeah. Okay, yep. Okay. Don't fuck up. Plus three. 19. All right, yeah, you hit him good. Okay, and then... uh. 2d6, I recall. I'm forgetting yes, every other fucking round. You, you'll get it eventually, dude. Don't Seven. worry about it. Yeah. Yep. Seven. Okay, yeah, you hit him. And uh, he's he's fairly upset with the fact you hit him. <laughs> uh, and uh, goes to Ranch. Yeah, so you just... All right. You did see the bandit and everything, so you just shoot at him, I'm assuming. 1d20. Just two. I did it! Yep, okay. He gets hit again. He's not having the best day. <laughs> That's what he gets. <laughs> just give give me your belt. Just give me your belt. <laughs> give me your belt! <laughs> Uh, and he gets hit as well, and he drops to the ground. Took two nines to the friggin' yeah. chest, yeah. I mean, that's a, a pretty strong guy, honestly. Uh, yeah. And we are back to you, Corlin. You uh, <laughs> you saw the bandit right in front of you who was about to uh, dump an AK into your face, hit the ground. And he's dead. Nice. <laughs> so... Good. <laughs> Fuck that guy. So, uh, what he tried to like shoot to... me. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Just kick him. <laughs> uh, so you're I want to pop around the 
okay. corner and uh, try and find that guy and shoot him. Okay, you pop your head around the corner into uh, <coughs> into their little base here, and you see one right by the uh, stairs that are going up to the tower. There's a bandit man laying there, uh, just covering his ears, kind of rolling on the ground. Uh, and there is another bandit still, who is by oh. the door of a little uh, shack, and he is doing the same I wanna... thing. Oh, nice. Uh, I'll shoot whoever is any of them right on the ground. Fuck that guy. Oh, they're they're both on the ground. Just fucking okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you can just shoot them. <laughs> they're, just, <laughs> they're just rolling on the ground like fucking fish out of water, screaming for their arms. Yeah. I mean, there's... does a does a nat twenty hit? Uh, oh. Yeah, and does double damage. Yeah. <laughs> oh fuck yeah! All right, roll two d six. Uh, 18. <laughs> yeah, he just fucking dome one from the oh, around the corner. Uh, he he rolled an at twenty critical. Yeah, that's yeah. Which yeah, eighteen? Just... Yeah, he just dome him. He's he's just fucking dead. Ah, my ear! <laughs> he hit the Why door. am I hearing somebody scream? Come out, you black and tans. because the, the, the uh, he was. <sighs> you, you blasted him. And uh, the, there's one bandit left by the door to the little guard shack. And uh, it is uh, to... Okay, uh, yeah, the, he keeps rolling on the ground, and uh, you guys don't need to make saves again, do you? So it's back to uh, Kevin. I'm going to move in and support the potato man. Okay, well, you uh, come around the corner and uh, you see just basically executed a man rolling around the, on the ground. <laughs> and there's still one left. Now, he does seem to be coming out of it now, now though. So, I mean. I'm not a fan of bandits. <laughs> <laughs> I've never killed anybody, just bandits. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like to take human life? I wouldn't know. I've only ever killed bandits. Uh, Let's fuck him. Rule. Okay, I'm just gonna shoot him. Pull him yep. The corner. Yep. Twelve. Uh, no, you you do miss him. Fuck. Uh, and we are to uh, there we go. All right, all right. I'm almost tempted to take out my knife and just stab him in the chest while he's on the ground. Well, he is getting up now. That's true. <laughs> yeah. I might as well shoot him then, just kind of keep it's it simple. Me humane. <laughs> <laughs> me humane? Why would I do that? <laughs> Uh, and did you want to use an action point? Might as well. I mean, there, there you go. Roll it's 1d6, I think. Yeah. Okay. Bada boom. Nothing. <laughs> uh, you do hit him. Oh, I do? Yes. Jesus. All right. Hold on a sec. Let me minus that bullet. I'm running out of ammo. Yes. Such well, I mean, to, to be song. fair, you, I don't think you guys have used an entire magazine yet. Oh, no. No, <laughs> so, no, no. <laughs> Nowhere near. I was going to say, the, <laughs> I thought the ammo thing would be nice, but it's like, well, I mean, considering you all it's have just like 12, 12 round magazines. <laughs> if yeah. it, if I've, got a, I have, on that long. I've got 17 round mags in my, yeah. in my MP443. <laughs> so so I'm, combat goes that long. We have problems. Yeah. I've got a five on him, so I've just shot him in the leg. No one's in position to use auto fire, which chews through ammo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you uh, you hit him, and uh, yeah, he's he's not happy. Uh, and he does uh, manage to stand up. Oh goody! And try and uh, tries to bring his rifle around, and it goes back to Kevin. Uh, well, he could have. Run it on the ground and put his hands up. 
but he decided to fill his hands again. So fill your hands, you son of a bitch. <laughs> All righty. I mean, we could have asked him to surrender, but like my guy's chest really hurts right now. He's it's just not. Yeah. Yeah. Not just yours. <laughs> there's this weird, uh, there's this weird red liquid pouring out of some of us. Uh, the six, uh, the, the six does not hit. Uh, yeah, no. On to, uh, yeah, to, to the rancher. Me again? Wow! All right. Combat goes quick when two of us are down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There we go. Sixteen. Hey, yeah, All you right. Hit, you hit him again. I'm a fucking beast. Uh, roll two d six nine. He hits yeah, he's the gone. He hits nice, the nice. ground. <laughs> Blew his kneecap out and then just blasted his brains. And yeah, he's he's on the ground, dead, dead. And uh, yeah, you guys have uh, successfully cleared the bandits. Okay, uh, sound off. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I'm gonna eat, Sorta. All right, all right, all right. Who's got first aid kits? <laughs> search the bandits, see if they've got any first aid. Let's go. Um, yep. So we're gonna search. Okay. Search check. Roll your search checks. Fuck! 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 Mod one D twenty pressure. Let's see. Thirteen. Yeah. Oh, twenty. There you go. Sixteen. <clears throat> hey, if I, if I shoot someone a uh, DM, it's not gonna show up or fuck things up, right? No, it shouldn't. No, uh, it shouldn't show it at all. No. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, you okay? So, uh, Ela finds a couple of uh, bandages and some just stabilizing first aid equipment off a couple of of the uh, the fucking dead bandits. Uh, Corlin, while you're searching through stuff you notice uh one of the cars inside of the little checkpoint base is it looks a little odd so you go and uh, lift up the hood which reveals the engine has been taken out and in its place there is uh, a few boxes of stuff and inside there's three thousand rubles roughly and uh 100 rounds of 762 by 39 and, <laughs> and, uh, uh, Kevin, you search as well, and you also find some of the uh, the first aid equipment you are looking for. So, uh, brick is closest to us. Okay, you run up to the brickers. <laughs> All right, if you got, got him, I'm, injury. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go run and check on Dinka. And on um, Rick, you notice on his uh, his vest, he has a little uh pouch that has a fucking little red cross on it. Uh, okay. Are you going, okay. and you said you're going to try to stabilize him? Or, uh, no, I'm going to try and help him out. What do I roll for that? Uh, that'd be a treat injury check. Okay. And that's uh, plus two with a d20? Yeah. D20. Okay, and that's a wisdom. Yep. And that's a two, all right. And uh, just as a reminder, we did both stabilize. We made our fort saves. Right. right. Oh. <clears throat> uh, trade injury. Three, two, one. Eleven. Uh, I don't think that passes. <laughs> uh, minimum DCs are like 15. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 15. Fuck. Uh, so you you, uh, you put a SpongeBob Band-Aid on him and... Uh... Nothing happens. <laughs> <Unfortunately>, <laughs> he remains he remains unconscious. Uh, and uh who, who is going to help the Dinkers? The Dinker Bell. 
Ilya. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, you get to uh, Dean Kent see that he is uh, he is also not having a good day. As he's Roger been that. Uh, Roll treat <laughs> injury. Alrighty. Uh, looking at it, I think the two uses that are most applicable is going to be either uh, someone like making them not unconscious or else restoring hit points. Yeah, that's uh, Restoring hit points uh, at yeah. best is going to uh, add one die four hit points yes. to the person. It's not much. Yeah, we, we had to do it last game. But the main thing is to make them not unconscious. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, just moving just sla- is good. <laughs> yeah. Slap, <laughs> just slap the shit out of him. <laughs> Wake up, asshole! <laughs> oh. Eh. Roll, roll an arm strike. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. 14. Uh, six points of damage. Uh, I need to check the DC because I'm pretty sure it is 15 to actually succeed. I've, I've got it open. Is it? Is it's 15? all 15s. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, so. Can we use action points? Uh, <laughs> now. R- result it... declared. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah. You could have. Uh, Damn before. it all. <laughs> you do have. You do have. Uh, okay, so back to uh, who's ever trying to help Boria. He, he does have a, a pouch with a little red cross on it. Okay, I uh and maybe you should help each other. <laughs> and yes, you maybe help. you should hedge your pets. I'm gonna open the I'll, I'll, I'll come up and start helping. Okay, because I so, found the thing. So you do find enough medical equipment to do it again, and uh you, you both Corlin and uh and Kevin are, are doing this correct. So on the board, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so uh Kevin, go ahead and uh well who has tre- Corlin, do you actually have treat injury? I'm pretty sure you do. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. yeah, I do. yeah Corey, and use the tree right. tree Corey, and you can assist. Yeah. By adding okay. It. So, so you'll you'll uh, add a plus two to his roll for an assist. So. Ah, that is an I, not a one. All right, I'll wait for him to roll. Nineteen. Yeah, you got it. Twenty-one. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Boria is uh, he's awake, which is sometimes not better. <laughs> as he uh he realizes he's been uh shot multiple times <laughs> uh and just just, just l- look look around look at my chest <laughs> what's left of it <laughs> we did it reddit we did it we <laughs> saved the day <laughs> trying to da, remember da, da, da. whether you're a pack a chest wound or not. <laughs> I shove a tampon in it, call it a day. Take a salt tablet. <laughs> it I'm gonna... Change your socks. Too to to have have it off. Drink your water. <laughs> oh, no. Have yourself a little sip. Yeah, all right. Okay. Do we have enough meds to get Dinka on his feet or no? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> They're all fucked. <laughs> you could drag him or something out of the woods so the random pseudo dog yeah. start munching on him or something. Yeah. Let's let's get him into the building there. Yep. Sounds good. Sounds good. I'm gonna be pretty hobbled. Making the oh. uh, the stalker uh <laughs> yeah. walk. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Your yeah. screen's just all red and you can't see anything. <laughs> uh, so was it's anyone kind of weeble wobbling like back before? and forth? Oh, what did you mm, say? No. Was anyone disabled like this before? No. Uh, no. Uh, the mechanical thing to know is, uh, so I can move, <clears throat> right? If I fight or do anything strenuous, I uh, lose hit points and go unconscious again. Okay. So when you are stabilized and then brought back to consciousness, are you still at like are you are you at like one HP or how does that work? You're you're disabled until you get to one. Yeah. So you're at zero, but you're awake and moving. No, I'm not at zero. Yeah, I'm at next six. Yeah. Oh, you're still next. He has not been. Stay, yeah, he has not been. Like, he has gotten any hit points back because you just used the kit to bring him back to consciousness. Gotcha. You, since you're gotcha. you're at zero, I mean, like you will be in the. If I was woken room. back up, I'd still be at zero. Yeah, you you would be at zero still, but that's a yeah, lot better sense. than being in the nags, right? I mean, 
<laughs> oh wait, he's at zero. I'm at zero. Yes. Oh, he's he should be disabled, like not unconscious, disabled. Oh, cool. Oh, okay. 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 Well, just... Mind so... you, if you kept fighting, you would have gone to neg one and start dying. Right. So in that case, we didn't need to burn the med kit. Well, to, uh, no, no, I guess not. It would have healed you. It would heal you, if it did, but it didn't. <laughs> You're right. So what is kind of that? An attempt to regain hit points. There you go. Of, we'll, we'll, yeah, yeah. We'll Which would have brought you out of being disabled, and <laughs> right. you could have acted like normal. Right, but it failed. So we are yeah. both walking wounded. Yeah. Cool. Okay. The difference well, is uh, you're, life... you're an evening away from walking around like normal, yeah. and I'm a week away from it. Yeah, <laughs> Did we save Boria? <laughs> yeah. A little. Did you <laughs> kill them? Yeah, yes, we did. Get down. They're a hell of a lot worse for wear than most of us. Let's get everyone inside. This take would be a... Sorry, go ahead. We need to get everyone inside, take inventory, uh, put them in like whatever shelter there is, and then, uh, I mean, uh, for what it's worth, we just got ourselves some new fucking guns. Bingo. Yeah. I'll <laughs> take that shotgun. That's for damn sure. I was going to say, including the shotgun, which we found ammo for. Hopefully next time we steal someone's <laughs> guns, uh, we don't have to get shot in the process. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Why don't be so optimistic. All right, so uh, who's carrying who? They're I mean, walking. We, we don't need carried. We can walk. It's just not yeah, it's not just great. Not fast. <laughs> You're just not happy. Yeah. Like here, we we can do like a normal walking pace, right? Okay. But no combat double um, move for us. Right. So I what, think what, I'll go make sure that building is clear before yeah, the clear wounded get in. So, uh, yeah, no uh, booby trap or anything. Yeah. Okay. So, so uh, yeah, what are you guys doing first? Uh, okay. It, it, would that count as a search? Uh, yeah, if you want to search the whole thing for people or, or whatever, yeah. 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 Sure. We'll do that. Uh, no search does nothing. Ah, four. Ooh. Good. Six. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, you, you guys don't find anybody in the buildings or anything. Uh, this The building seems quite empty, actually. Uh, All right. So you guys just get inside? And show yeah, up. we're working. I think Dean can well, do at yeah. least. Okay. Yeah. I'd like to yeah. find a chair. I want to go police up all the weapons. And... <clears throat> That'd be a good idea. All right. Really? Um... Search all the bodies for yeah. We're, more we're, than just <laughs> these gangers are gonna get posthumously ganked. Like let's fucking empty them. You do you need new shoes? Like are they your size? <laughs> <laughs> you got a couple of blood covered tracksuits. <laughs> <laughs> but they are Adidas. That's true. Uh, uh, can you bring me that snake guy's PDA? I'll do that. I want to transfer my uh, double lot buck to Ilya since he can utilize it. Okay. And, and like, yeah, the to... SKS is fair game for whoever. Uh, so in total for just the weapons you guys find, uh, you find Four AK seventy fours. Uh, Dinka, you want to be a uh, ledger keeper for group loot? Yup, 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 yup. Okay. You find four AK seventy fours in shit condition. Uh, looks like they were using motor oil as gun lube. Better than nothing. <laughs> Are they go. repairable? <laughs> uh, you find for the shotguns, you find a. Some kind of Bubba sawn off double barrel 
And then you also find some sort of uh, weird looking pump shotgun that has been sawed off as well. Wrench, I think that pump action would suit you better. I'll take it. Uh, you find a couple, a couple of Makarovs, and on Snake, he has a Tokarev. I'm going to lift that Tokarev. Uh, as far as ammo goes, you find for the uh, the AKs, you find 150 rounds of the 545 across all of the, the dead boys. You find 20 shells of buckshot between the two of them. Shotguns. Just let me know if I'm going too fast. Or... No, you're good. No, it's all good. And for the Makarovs, you find 18 rounds of ammo. And you find 12 rounds of Tokarev. And any, na- any nine? Uh, any any regular nine by nineteen or no? No. no, no. Okay. Uh, How and many? As far as uh, Corlin, have you told anybody about what you found, or? Are you... Yeah, I'll uh, add that to the pot. Okay, and yeah, so uh, Corlin also lets you guys know about the stash in the car outside, which has three thousand rubles and a hundred rounds of seven six two by thirty nine. All right. Uh, so, uh, Brick, you're not you're not able to use his SKS right now. Is that what you mean by its game? Well, <clears throat> I I don't think I'm going to be doing too good if I get into a fight. Someone else can make better use of it till I'm better. Who wants to use the SKS? I figure you could use it. I pick up the SKS. I will be using it until Brick gets back into shape or whatever happens next. A question about the pump shotgun. What type is it? I know it doesn't really matter. I'm just autistic about this sort of shit. Oh, I I don't just use the rules for the Mossberg 500. I think the one in the games are a Taz 94. Yeah, it's usually a Taz 94 94 or a or a fucking uh, MP uh, bike hall 133, I think. It looks like looks like the sawn off pump is the one is the Taz ninety four. Okay. I'm, I'm just, just picturing the bandit shop uh, shop on guns, uh, <laughs> cutting through the mag tube, thinking it's a double barrel. <laughs> <laughs> double barrel pump. Hey, it's half okay. We cork. put we'll put the cork in it. <laughs> it's the half life gun. There you go. Oh, and you find uh, six magazines between all of them for the uh, AKs. How many okay. AKs were there? Four. Four. Okay. So that's four in the guns and then two loose. Yeah, it's on their peoples, yep. All right. Got some... Re- I will make known. I've got some repair skill. I can try to work right. on some of them. Yeah, I'll I mean, maybe that. while we're down, Dinka and I can fiddle with it. Yeah, yeah. I've got mechanical craft, so I can do that too. Right, and then... Uh, well, and repair, so yeah. That might mean uh, <laughs> parting them out, so that means we would just take the best of uh, whatever comes of that, if it goes that way. Right, strip down the, the worst ones. Keep, like, one or two out of the four. Strip the other two down. All right. Um, uh, so we only got one person taking a move. shotgun, right? Yeah, I was going to go for an AK if we can get them working. Okay, uh, Ilya, you get an extra 25 rounds of double-hot buck from Thank. the stash we found at the elevator. All right, so that would be 40 rounds total now. Um, for you a can take my shot... 25, too. Oh, shit, all right. Uh, that would be 65, then. Each of those 25s um, weighs 1.5 pounds. Okay, so, so 60, okay. Do I do I add a do I add a SKS to my weapon thing, or am I just waiting on a brick to get better? I mean, you can add it for now if you want. Given you're using the actual sheet, it's probably not worth it. Um, 
I, I mean, here, if you want to... Uh, just, like, screenshot him your stats, and you can utilize like, uh, it. Talk again so I remember who I'm sending this to. I'm Swoosh, red shirt, shaggy. All right. He I mean, himself. since my character sheet, since I couldn't get the thing working, it's just a text file. It's nothing for me to change anything. Okay. 2D8. <coughs> yep. Okay. Um, yeah, um, I I'm going to sling that. I'll top it off. But I'll sling that, and then uh, yeah, the the SKS is the only by thirty nine mm -hmm. firearm <clears throat> right I now. Okay, I'll. Think... You got. Yep. All righty, okay. and uh, how many rounds was that again? Uh, there were a hundred in that stash. All right, uh, and uh, what's the weight on that? I'll I'll just backpack that. Uh, what did I tell you for the weight, Moria? I Six, will seven, offer three. that. You know, while I'm not going to be moving fast, I can carry things. Okay. You... I, I'm good at carrying things. Okay. Do you want to carry 100 rounds of 39? Yeah, that's nothing. All right. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'm going to put that in your backpack then. He's the boy. Man. Who took the Tokarev? I did. Um, My... Depending on interpretation. Well, you need those lightning hot. Uh, you know, little neck down bullets. It's just as good as five seven. <laughs> <laughs> that'll, shoot, that'll shoot straight through level four plate right there. <laughs> All right. So, uh, so yeah. uh, was I not supposed to take that pistol? Or I'm just that? making notes. No, no. All righty. Yeah. <clears throat> now, how um, many magazines were for the Tokarev? One. The one, one in the gun. Yep. All right. That. All righty. So uh, I'll put. I have more ammo for the nine millimeter, even if it is a smaller caliber. So I'm just going to backpack the Tokarev. And how? What does the Tokarev weigh? Uh, Probably whatever the same your current handgun is. They're all the same. Yeah, stats. they're pretty much all the same. Uh, so two point zero. Yeah, let me. I actually don't even know if the Tokarev's in the weapons locker thing. So is the only person taking an AK-74, Corlin? Or is Kevin going to grab a long arm for when Borea wants his rifle back? I will be interested in a long arm for when he uh, grabs his rifle back. Yes. Okay. I'm so, because, you know. Uh, currently unclaimed, we've got the sawn off double, act, double barrel pump. Gosh darn, double barrel shotgun. And we've got three poor condition AK 74s as far okay. as long arms go. So, whichever one you want. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to go with a AK-74. Okay. Are these 74 yeah. used or 74s as in full-size rifles? And I'm going to take three miles. Okay. okay. Uh, I'd probably, you know, provided they aren't complete dog shit, I'd be looking later into getting uh, something with auto fire. I'm probably going to be uh, heading that direction. All right. That sounds good. What would you say, Corlin? Uh, I'm going to take three of the mags and half of the five, four, five. So, 75. Are we dividing the money up evenly? I don't yeah. know. Are you guys? I mean, Might some, as well. Does somebody want to be a little bit more equal than everybody else? <laughs> well, I mean, the amount was publicly announced. And while I'm not shooting anyone in my current state, you know, a party of armed guys is not who you deal in between. Hopefully, hopefully that's everyone's attitude. Oh, this is this was the part where Corlin's like, "Oh, hey guys, I found twelve hundred rubles over here." <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're such a stand-up guy. I would have just pocketed that and not told anybody. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, that's what you think. <laughs> I am. A um, trust, I'm a trustworthy individual. 
I, I guess am. since there's what one, two, three, four, like, five of us, <clears throat> be six hundred rubles if we divvy it evenly. We should do that. Might as well. I, I've learned how the zone works. Can I see that money? <laughs> hey, that, that looks really cool. Can I check that out for a second? The faces are drawn in in Sharpie. Yeah. And uh, I think we can, uh, if for nothing else, take the double barrel just to sell that because the pump action will help us out better. Uh, if we're for selling, the other stuff that's left is and just pistols. So you may as well. Yeah. S speaking make of the pump action. Sorry to interrupt, but it's speaking of the pump action, since it's sawed off, what's the ammo count on it? Four, three? Oh, it's just the stock sawed off. So it's it's still the same. Like this the tube's the same, so it's five. Okay, five. Tube. Good, good. Yeah, five total. But Ooh. yeah, it's just the stock. So like they, they didn't actually fucking saw the tube. <laughs> they, they oh, I'm you never you, <clears throat> you never know, man. <laughs> well, yeah, on, so some, was that... on some of these you could cut down the barrel. Fine, uh, but yeah, not on the not on the Mossberg 500, unfortunately. How many macros was that zone? Was that uh, two, three, two, two? Cool. I think yeah, two, two. And then the Tokarev, and yeah. <coughs> so sad, no one's dual wielding. <laughs> <laughs> the rules are. Pretty, I mean, the rules. Uh, it, it behooves you. It's uh, sometimes. It's not a penalty. I'm so used to dual oh, there, wielding there, being oh, a major oh, penalty. No, there's there's, there's a penalty, but you can get potentially enough benefit to make it worthwhile. Right. Until you have to reload. Well, I mean, the, the, the beauty of it is with the feats you can get and the multiple attacks per turn, I mean, you can just become a crit factory. You know? <laughs> like, it doesn't really matter. Even then, like... um here, the base two weapon fighting feet, you're looking at like a neg two on both shots, right? Yeah. And generally speaking, it's going to be worth it to throw two shots at neg two versus one with no penalty. <coughs> you you huh. get into dumb math shit. Yeah. Have we collected all the gear? Everybody's got, somebody's got it in their backpack. Do I need to carry anything? Uh, uh, depending on your interpretation of carry shit because I've got the backpack and vest like I'm looking at 133 pounds before I'm encumbered okay do you want to just dump it all in your pack yeah you could literally just let you put, mule it you could put everything in the bag and you could just take because he's strong so he's a strong hero you know so like and, strong you know, just say like I'm carrying uh, one or two of their bags too or something yeah you could literally yeah. he could be your fucking Beast of burden, if you really want yeah, to, you know, let's put the saddlebags on them. That one. Right. <laughs> so the remaining stuff isn't going to tip you over, so we can do the administrative part of it yeah. later. Yeah, yeah, I don't think it's going to matter. We can just keep either keep moving or uh, uh, settle into these probably... wonderful gentlemen's digs and collect the tolls they were charging people. Now you're thinking. <laughs> that because just uh, put on the coats. Surely <laughs> another <laughs> band of people won't come through and kill us. Become the bandits. <laughs> <laughs> have we noticed that they have patches on their shoulder? Uh, yeah, actually, if you take a close look, and I think we would have oh, right. noticed that I, the rookies were wearing the snake them too. PDA. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, I was gonna say the snake PDA. Uh, so okay. yeah, what, what do you want to do? I with did it? pick it up. I did pick up the state. I'm going to hand it to a, a Brick. Are you yeah. conscious? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm awake. I'm, I am handing it to Brick. Okay. All right. Uh, what do you want to uh, do? I, I, I wanted to uh, punch through Snake Mansion, this Sultan guy. Uh, yep, there is a contact in there called Boss Sultan. I uh, wa wanted to make sure I have that contact <laughs> info. Uh, you know, uh, copy that contact over to my own. You find take his... a look through, see if there's anything else, uh, interesting contacts, cash locations, anything that might be fun. Uh, there are a couple of cash locations. Uh, one is in the garbage, and another one is in some place called the Valley, or the, the Dark Valley. Uh, All right. As far as the contacts, uh, there's random guys that have been checking in with them here and there. You know, uh, like spotted 
you know, like X group of people moving this direction, you know, from a few days ago, shit like that. Uh, between him and Sultan, it's it's literally him paying up. You know, how much did you get this week? Bring it to uh, me. What what kind what kind of uh, money are they moving? Oh, uh, they're yeah, they're moving that three grand is pretty normal for them on a weekly basis. They're moving you know, around five five a week to Sultan. Um, I take notice that uh, then you know make the group aware. So that money, uh, that that's due to like the gang boss around here. Though he will notice his absence. Uh, yeah, I, I'm holding the guy's phone who uh, regularly pays increments of about three thousand up to his boss. And we put your name out in the public with the messages. Crap. PDAs are fun. <laughs> no, it, it's fine. It's fine. Just um, we we might want to bear that in mind in case it becomes relevant that uh, we may have uh, <laughs> robbed this man. Uh, well, yeah. Maybe he'll be reasonable and realize Snake was an asshole. He was holding and cut him. us a discount. <laughs> you could leave the rubles behind. I mean, with what we lift off of them, gear, weapons, and uh, I don't know, maybe somebody will like these patches if we cut them off. We'll come out with something. Well, I, I think the patches are going to be easier than carrying their heads. I don't think <laughs> these guys are very popular. <laughs> yeah. Somebody will want something for them. The good old D20 uh, fucking goblin ears, you know, Just chop their ears off. <laughs> <laughs> Five gold pieces for every null ball you bring. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep, that may be a good idea. All right. Um, I mean, I'm not going to proactively contact the Sultan <laughs> guy and uh, tell him he sucks dick. I'm not going to make that choice. Go ahead and say, are you keeping that PDA or are we going to dump it here? We could sell the PDA. Well, either way, delete your messages with him out of there. Maybe nobody I, else noticed it was a, when it was going on. but I, I will do that. And uh, <clears throat> I, surely someone wants a bandit's PDA, right? Or a, I don't know their fucking bandits, whatever. I mean, they're clearly gangsters. Right. Yeah, they, they they clearly acted like bandits and gangsters. They're fucking running a toll in a wasteland. So yeah, the contact this thing has to hold some value. We just need to figure. It's certainly, out. every bandit doesn't have the same information. <laughs> no, and uh, Eli, you you do you do have a uh, a background in crime. I do. Uh, as as you are uh, going through some of these bodies, uh, you you did notice that you do recognize a couple of them, like you've seen them around <laughs> before your time here. I know a few of these guys. They Who disappeared. They? Uh, they used to work for a rival family. They uh, disappeared a few years back. I guess this is where they end up working for this sultan cunt. What did they do on the outside? Same shit I did. Anything that could get your boss money. You keep the boss man happy means you're happy. He isn't happy. Eh, well. Nobody's ever there to tell the tale. So you'd know better than us. How much hot water did we just get ourselves into? Well... We already almost lost two of us. Uh, you especially should know that. I say... Give or take, you give them a day or two. They'll start to find something's fishy. Suddenly the money's not coming in. Then they really get upset. You and they'll want to know... Money here. I'll that. No. 
We killed their men. Think of it. You ever watch Godfather? Uh. No, I can't say that I have. Well, think of it like this. You don't kill a made man. These guys, they were made. One family or the other, it doesn't matter. And because they were made, we're dead men. I suppose the, the, the beautiful part is you don't have to worry about interesting ways of dying. You know, it's not like they're going to kill you with blow torches or something out here. <laughs> they're just like, you know, just going to eat a 9x18. Yeah, they're just going to shoot your. Oh, actually, no, I guess you could get thrown into an anomaly or something. Like it's like dip they probably head. would. They they probably would the do that. Honestly, stretcher. I mean, the, the there was stretcher. the pit in the dark valley. <laughs> yeah, there's the, yeah. yeah. Take him to the ball stretcher. <laughs> <laughs> well, so that, should we like what's up? Get rid of these bodies, or uh, does this matter? Because there's some hungry dogs outside. I think somewhere we could like pull them out into the woods, and bodies are gone. Yeah. Well, unless they somehow figure out who the hell we are. Because remember, none of these guys were able to get the message out. So we'll have to wait until some other bandit or whoever reports their death. And when that happens, all hell's gonna break loose. The bandits are gonna be pissed. Sultan's gonna be pissed. Nobody's gonna have a good time. So should we, like, stay here for rest and refit? Or should we, like, Move. We could stay here for the night. But by tomorrow morning, we better get the fuck out of here. Sounds good. Okay. We clean the body so that there's some plausible deniability to give us some space. It's some... not... Mm. Like, it'll take them a while to figure it out completely, won't they? Well, as you can see... It probably is a common occurrence to get your ass blown off in the zone by one thing or another. So as far as I'm concerned, we may not be the target specifically, but we're in part we're part of that wide berth of what they call loners. Hey, I, I just had a thought. What's uh, that? If any of you have a contact back with the uh, rookie town, uh, maybe tell people that... Uh, so there's no military checkpoint anymore, and uh, there's no checkpoint here either anymore. That'd be a good idea. I'll radio if, back. If, like, 30 people come through at the same time, how will they know it's us? Now, that is clever. There was also that gunfire earlier at the when we first attempted to go past the checkpoint and that tunnel. Right. That these Maybe. guys. We don't Maybe know. we do that when we're ready to leave, yeah? Sure. Yeah, we'll stay here for the night. What Hopefully do we do the with bodies, these bodies will get eaten by some pseudo dogs. Who knows? How far should we move them out? We don't need the dogs sniffing up on us again. Other side of the wall? No. Uh -huh. Well, we're going to be going that way anyway. You guys have fun with that. I, I'm feel like shit i'm gonna lay down <laughs> they're like a ditch anywhere or? uh they're not you can just throw them out in the woods i mean that would then they, they, all they right should, the zone will take care of it <laughs> kevin if yeah. you're so kevin you follow me if you're so goddamn insistent on it you follow me and help sure thing well you start carrying the bodies and uh you you do notice something about them too as you're you're carrying them uh, they all have really nice new boots. <laughs> and uh, I, I, if you guys uh, remember anything about seeing anybody in like a military parade or something like that, uh, th those look like army boots. You think these guys carried. might not be bandits? Well, hold on. The checkpoint that we were told had military personnel on it was empty when we came to it. Shit on a stick. So these guys might have just wiped them out. Looks like we wiped them out in return. 
Uh, that gives me an idea. Maybe they'll blame the middle military. Maybe they'll blame the military and not the loners. That's good. That's fucking good. I like that. Hopefully that works. Uh, otherwise, we're fucking screwed. Gotta try it. But how do we convince them? Mm. Uh, do I hear any of this? Uh, well, they're they moving bodies. Okay. Yeah, okay. Right. okay. Well, oh, fuck it. The direction, the, in the direction of the military checkpoint. Well, when we came that's in, where, that's where they, we came from. Yeah. Yeah, let's spread them out a bit. I mean, Over if here, you don't here. mind me asking, what if you, if you wanted me, if you wanted to make this look like we were not here, we did not do this. What would you do? Well, where I'm from, we would have had the option of burying them in a shallow grave or dissolving their remains in a barrel somewhere out in God knows where. It doesn't really matter. Let's just say there's enough concrete graves out in the middle of the forest to build a goddamn condominium. Throw more morality cakes. Oh, what's that? Morality cakes, you know. Little turn them into confetti. The Are Irishman's there... got the point. Are there any return to nature? <laughs> Truly, but it could look suspicious. Like, all of them just suddenly got hit by that anomaly. Say life's a bitch in the zone. Pretty fucking weird, right? Pretty fucking weird here. Weird shit happens. You've got the point, Irishman. All right, fuck it. Kevin, on me. We're gonna throw these cocksuckers in the nearest vortex. <laughs> All right. the, the bodies start getting shredded. <laughs> the, the, the red mist rains down upon you. And uh, yeah, the, the, the zone garbage disposal does what it does. I don't think I'm ever going to get used to that. And I've, I've seen far worse. It's just... The getting it's just the blood. Wrong. We're seeing something that shouldn't be, but it is. <laughs> but it is that what it you're feeling? No, I just don't like getting blood all over me. It's. Uh... I concur. Let's get the fuck out of here. I agree. Well, you guys dump the bodies and head back in and uh, make camp for the night, and that's where we'll call it tonight, boys. Yeah! Hey, hey, hey. He's a session. barely scraped by again. What the fuck? Hey, and it was fucking great, too. That was a great it, little it, session. It, it was. It was. I was just ready to, like, just leave the chat if I died, and then, you know. That <laughs> <was> like, <laughs> <great> <laughs> <script>. <laughs> Honestly, that's kind of what I played.